and how shit cars are. <laughs> In oh, the... I got my... Whoa, there's two of me. What the hell? Wait, oh, I, my, can, I can... My PNG tuber's up. That's why I'm in Discord. There we go. Uh, I forgot I had... I was on... I can... Go ahead. No. <laughs> I forgot your... Sweet. Your uh, Discord reactive image. The the active one's normal, but your passive one has the, like, goofy <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, no, I changed it lately. Oh, hello, Murasame. How are you doing tonight? This is my friend Ghouli. She was. Hello, hello, chat. I think you are the second friend I ever made as a VTuber. Uh, I met you shortly after I met Ame. It was within like a day or two. We met on Twitter, and I've been friends mm. with Ghoulie for man over what three years now. Oh my god! Almost yeah, three been, years. It's been a long time. It's been yeah. a while. Ghoulie's been Ghoulie's been around here forever, and we're glad to have her. It's been. Problem is, is <laughs> she's she's UK and I'm US. So by the time I'm usually on, she's already asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's like half past midnight. <laughs> yeah, and, and for, for me it's seven twenty p.m. So it's like, yeah, our t time time uh, time zones suck. Is the is I'm what's to be taken to from that? Yeah, most of most of my friends are American who I dream with, so I, I get used to that. You just need to become nocturnal. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm going into my last year of uni. I've got to do a final year project. I probably will turn into a fucking uh, nocturnal. I well, can swear in a stream now, right? Because it's 18 plus. Yep, I'm 18 plus now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know, yeah, thinking no, about it, you being a, a tech girl and a coder, you're probably already half nocturnal already, aren't you? So I wish. No, I actually have a decent sleep schedule. <laughs> oh, well, that's actually <laughs> impressive because I don't, so... I my, know, my I know. it's sucks. off character. Hey, but more power to you, that's way better. I crawl into bed, watch YouTube till like 1am, and then I wake up at like 9 and don't call out bed till 11. But it, it works. Yep. I that's... managed to get my jobs done, so... Hey, as long as you get it done, that's what counts, right? Yeah, hell yeah. I wish. I need to get... I need to spend more, uh... Spend more time taking better care of myself. Uh, that's yeah. that's something I definitely don't do. I'm hoping my new job will help with that. I'm supposed to get health insurance soon, finally. Yeah, I still think it's wild that you guys need health insurance to survive in the United States. I've been nursing oh. a injured testy, a bum foot, and I have daily headaches. And uh, every time I eat, I get toothaches. So it's like, yeah, it's uh, it sucks yeah, right that's now. Rough. But wow. I've, you know what? I'm not in agony anymore. I'm just in mild discomfort. So, soldier on. We get one life. <laughs> Run it. America is like such a crazy country, man. I, if I didn't have free healthcare and the job that I do, well, like, I'd be risking thousands of pounds a day. Yeah. I can't. Every time I'm at work. Like, fuck that. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's uh, it sucks, is what it does. It's like I get injured frequently, and there's just nothing you can do about it, other than mm. ride it out. It's it's unfortunate, but there's just nothing. I have no say in it. I just have to ride with it, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, now, before we before we hopped on stream, how much did you say that your your fuel was? Like two bucks a gallon, something like that. Uh, that was a few years ago. Back when I went there, it was two, like seventy or eighty-five a gallon. Currently, my local price for fuel here in rural Ohio is, I think, the station I pass on the way home was three sixty-nine a gallon. That's crazy. Excuse no, me, three sixty-nine, nice a gallon. At Costco, uh, which is obviously cheaper fuel because it's Costco. Um, is where I fill up. It costs one pound forty per litre. I converted that into into gallons and then into dollars. It adds up to be nearly nine nine dollars per gallon at the moment here for our cheapest fuel. Seriously? Yeah. And like my my fuel tank is like nearly ten gallons. So that would cost me what ninety bucks to fill up my Nissan Micra. That's ridiculous. Yeah, one liter is about is about a quarter of a gallon. And you said it's how much a liter? It's it's one pound fifty a liter ish. One fifty three. That'd be about six bucks a gallon then. 
Because it's about... No, make... that's, that's in pounds. Oh, yeah, that'd be... You're right, that's six so pounds a... a liter. Or six pounds a gallon. And what's... A gallon is four... Yeah, a gallon is 4.5 liters. Oh, yeah, one pound fifty is about two dollars. So it adds up to be nearly nine dollars. Wow, yeah, you're right. That's nuts. Yep. As UK fuel, UK fuel Jeez. is so much more expensive than US. That's ridiculous. And you got to keep in mind, my car is like 1.2 liter. It makes about 79 horsepower. It's not very powerful. <laughs> now, now imagine this. I have a 99 Chevy Suburban with a 5.7 liter, 350 cubic inch V8. I don't know how much horsepower or torque it makes. But the gas tank is 42 gallons. Mine's 45 liters. That's insane. 42 gallons of fuel. Well, that's like a full tank from liters. almost dead empty. A full tank from almost dead empty cost me 135 bucks right now. I'm going to work out what that cost in, in, in British. That yeah, I, I'm curious. You uh, you have so, one friend you know since 12 years. That's amazing. Uh, it's always good to have lifelong friends. I have one friend, uh, the mythic and fabled A Dog. Um, if you've ever heard him referenced on my streams, uh, A Dog, I met on the kindergarten car town play mat, um, like the little like <laughs> mats you would get with the roads and the buildings. We met with Hot Wheels cars on that play mat in kindergarten. And I am still best friends with him to this day. He's, a, he's the, to date, the only person to ever sit in IRL on one of my streams. Um, and he is actually the only person I've ever gone on a vacation with either. What's this? That's, oh. that's cool. You have a Miata. I'm jealous. I want a Miata. It's like my dream project car at the moment. Uh, I've actually. Tag job I want to go on. <laughs> I had the pleasure of driving both an NA and an NB Miata, and I will say I am about five foot seven, um, and I'm about two fifteen. Sonia on the other side, because she's always wearing heels, is about six foot one. So, um, the but either way, no matter how, like I would not want to own a Miata personally because I don't fit. <laughs> and I am not that tall. <laughs> See, I, I'm tall, but I'm, like, skinny, so I feel like I'd fit fine if I just moved the seat back. Maybe. Uh, of course, my parents didn't... They did have stuff jammed behind their seat, so maybe that wouldn't work. Mm. I don't know. Because my, my, I mean, my parents had the fucking, like, back seat just crammed with shit behind the seat, so I couldn't get the seat all the way back. Maybe that made a difference. Yeah. I mean, most of my height is legs, so as long as I can extend my legs out, I, I should be fine. That's good. But I, I did the conversion. To fill up your truck in, in the UK, from nothing to full, would cost you a total of $365. Oof! Yeah. Yikes. That's 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 a big amount of fuel. <laughs> that's that's nearly three full tanks of fuel for me right now. That's insane. That is crazy. How that, much that is literally I think three of your tanks or like four of your tanks is the price of my whole car. Probably something to that you know, effect. My car costs me one point two K. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that you know what's crazy? Your car, as it sits, running and driving, what you bought, though, cost as much as my truck with a blown motor. I paid $1,100 mm. for my Suburban, and it had a blown-up engine in it at the time. Oh, and well, it my, needed mine brakes and tires. Mine, mine's in British British money, so it's probably about 1.5k USD. Oh, yeah, I forget you guys' is... I forget you guys have different money than us. That that still yeah, throws. Yeah, it's worth quite a bit more as well. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You pay two thousand euros for a Miata. That's insanely cheap. What, what the hell? What is the? What's the? 
uh, conversion rate from euros to freedom units. I know about what it is on pounds, but I don't know euros. Is it similar to pounds? I know Brexit no, kind of yeah. fucked up all of that. Like, you guys oh, used to be pretty a, even, we, but... No, so we we used to be about one pound to 1.25 euro, about that sort of range. Oh, so... Now, I... the euro to dollars is one euro is one dollar eight cents. So you're fairly similar. Oh, okay, so the euros to dollar. Two grand, so uh, that but, would it's be two th <laughs> but it's mostly <laughs> broken. 2016. Oof. That's that is not... kind of the case with Miatas, though, isn't it? They rust like all hell. Hey, that's all right, because you know what I spent on... Uh... Now, here, here's what'll really hurt your wallet. I saved, but I paid 7,000 euros to repair everything. Oof, that hurts. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. Here's the one that'll hurt. My Nissan S13, my beloved Satsuki, the white car that runs. Because I now have... I don't know if you know this, Ghoulie. Do you... I think you know I bought a second... Uh, 240 now, right? I I wouldn't be surprised if you did. <laughs> I did. I bought a second one. Now the trick yeah. is is that it it's a shell car. It has no anything to it at all. Um, the the car itself doesn't have anything in it. No engine. No transmission. No interior. It's got some residual wiring. Some like the seatbelt motors and stuff that are attached. The dashboard, what's left of the strip-down steering column, and it had wheels and tires and suspension. It was a rolling shell, but it was all pretty rough. The trick is, though, is that it's yeah. rust-free, so it's going to be the new donor home of the white car to get rid of all of its rust. But oh, okay. that car aside, my white car that runs, the ones you've seen in TikTok, the one I've had for a couple of years now, I guess a year and a half, that car, when I bought it, did not have gas lines, brake lines, or even a clutch line. They had all rusted off of the car. The, Holy shit. The clutch master and the clutch slave were both pretty well toast. The uh, car had not been run or driven in over six years. It was sitting on tires from the 1990s. All original suspension, steel wheels, hubcaps, the works. It was unmodified in that condition and had not run in six years. $4,500. To be fair, for a classic car, that's not bad. Like, for a car that didn't... These... I didn't run. It was no, undrivable. Like... I couldn't even hear the motor start. It barely cranked. Let's see how much a 200 T4SX is here. If you can oh. even find them, you might not well, even be able to find them. You have to look up 200SX. They're under a different name in your part of the world. Because in the Asian yeah. market, they run the 180. In the European market, which at the time those were released, you guys were still, I think, part of the European market. Um, we are still part of the European market. Does that still count? I didn't know. Um, either yeah, we're, just because we're not in the EU doesn't mean we're not European. <laughs> Fair. I just didn't know if that affected like car markets or anything. I don't know what all that no. affected. Again, I haven't been I out the two hundred or the three hundred up. I haven't oh, left the I haven't left the Midwest in my entire life, other than one time <laughs> I went to Florida. Like, I guess I've been to Florida twice now. But it's like I seriously <laughs> I haven't left the Midwest, but maybe three times in my life. So knowing the cultures of the rest of the world are a little bit beyond me. Mm. Uh, honestly, the the amount of like cultural diversity we were taught in school, and try if you if I tried to use what I was taught in school about other countries, it would just come off as extremely condescending and culturally appropriate uh, cultural pr appropriation. Like it's not good. Yeah, America uh, scares me. Yeah, we're it's the wild wild west over here. I mean, seriously, we had a presidential candidate g almost get shot in the head, and that was, yeah. ju at, at the same time, Richard Simmons died, and now our, literally, our current president has just like, yeah, I'm not running next year, I, I'm, I'm backing down, and it's like, what the fuck is happening? Mm. And I don't, yeah, I'm, wild, I'm apolitical, I don't like any politics, and even I'm sitting here going, Really? This is a shit show, no matter... I don't care if you're on 
you know, this side, that side, the other side, or the side that's, you know, over in left field. I don't care. All of them are like, wow, this is a fucking disaster. I like the one guy I passed, uh, he has a yard sign in his house, and I passed it the one day when I was driving around the local area, and it says, any functioning adult for president. <laughs> Like, real honestly i'm like you know that's the first political statement i can get behind in a long time <laughs> oh man but yeah it's it's so bad and it's like yeah that's i'm just excited for the first time ever this year i, I we haven't talked a whole lot recently do you know about my big vacation plan no okay so starting august 14th i am actually going to be off of streaming and everything for two weeks uh, I'm even off my job for two weeks. I'm out of the state. I am leaving Ohio. I'm driving all the way to Iowa to visit, uh, you know, Bunny, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Whoops. Iowa? Uh, yeah, that's where Potato Bunny is. Nice. No, no, that's Idaho. Oh, yeah, that's Idaho. Uh, Iowa is the corn state. Or soybean, I think. Iowa. I don't know. They're. Big, it's yeah. basically, Iowa is basically dead flat. It's just a big a flat those, area. Like, middle states like Ohio, Iowa, uh, etc. just kind of blend into the rest of those foreigners. Yeah, I, I can't honestly say I'm basically surprised. Basically the same place. <laughs> Our country is very vast and diverse. I mean, we literally have two different mountain ranges, an entire freaking desert. Wetlands, marshes, swamps, farmland, uh, cliffs, crags, gullies, foothills, plains. We have mm. everything. This country is the most, I think, one of the most diverse climates in the world because we are just so vast. Uh, but so I'm going to leave from here. And in one day, I'm driving all the way to Iowa and I'm going to spend a day with Bunny. Uh, she lives with uh, Rin and a couple of other people that I know, and I'm just going to go and visit with them for a day or so. I think it's going to end up being like a day and a half. I leave from there, I drive from Iowa all the way to Dallas, Texas, or excuse me, Austin, Texas, and I'm going to go to a Colossal Con, uh, Colossal Con, Texas this time. So I'll get to be in uh, Texas for a big convention, which will be cool. I then go to San Antonio to see my little sister and another friend. And I'll be there for yeah. a few days. The last weekend of my vacation, I come back to Dallas. I'm there for Windbloom, the Genshin Festival, which is a, get a, a convention dedicated to just Hoyoverse games. Oh my lord. So I'll be there for a couple of days, and I'm hoping Sadie's going to be able to come up and meet with me and go to the convention with me. I don't know if she can yet or not, um, but I'm hoping Sadie will be able to come up and hang out with me there. And then I go home. So that'll be two total weeks. Uh, 3,000 miles, 48 hours behind the wheel for a road trip. And that's the current plan. So um, mm. uh, I, it should be really fun. I'm excited, but I have no idea what's about to come. So Yeah, it sounds fun. I just hope it all goes well, because that could be a freaking nightmare if it goes wrong. Especially out in the middle of nowhere, I need to make sure I'm... I'm taking, like, gas cans and everything, just in case. Yeah, and I'm yeah, not yeah, straying from the that. main roads. Like, I am sticking with where I know. But yeah, I don't... make sure you keep yourself safe. Oh, for sure. I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy. Oh, what the heck? Miyuki just pinged Could her server. Fun. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, it's Dark's birthday stream. Okay. Okay, that's all. Yeah, I found uh, I found one. Uh, How much? One one point eight twenty two hundred SX. It is imported from Europe, um, and it is working, but it is left hand drive. Uh, it costs to buy twelve thousand pounds, which is about fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, for a running driving one, that's about the going rate over here. That's how I got mine but so then, cheap. Like, I got mine for less than five because it needed so much work. We talk about insurance. Yeah, that's... uh. Actually, 
weirdly, my insurance on it, because my car... In America, they don't do insurance in the way you would expect. You would think sporty, you know, Japanese 90s sports car would have a high insurance rating. But because it's 25 years old, and they don't really expect you to do much with it, my insurance rate is actually crazy, crazy low on it. Yeah. Well, I asked him, like, how much is it going to cost to insure this car? And she told me the price, and it was like, what was it? Because I pay, like, two or three hundred bucks every half a year for insurance on all of my cars, which are two to three, usually. My Suburban, my truck, or my, yeah, my Suburban, which is my truck, my 240, and then if I have an extra car that I'm working on or project or whatever that I'm going to sell... Um, I have that car usually on as well. So it's two to three hundred bucks for insurance per six months. Yeah. But the... That's... Go ahead. That's so cheap. Well, and then the, the kicker is, though, because I called and I'm like, the base plan has like a thing and then for each car I add is whatever. So I asked the one day and I'm like, okay, I said, how much is it going to cost to add this car? And she tells me it's like, 30 or 40 bucks for the half for my 240. And I'm like, oh, okay. I said, well, how much would it be if I wanted to go with full coverage insurance? That way, in case this car gets totaled, because you know now it's worth probably 10 grand running and driving. And I'm like, how much would it cost to get full coverage on this car? She went, oh no, that was full coverage. And I'm like, did you just want liability? And I went, that's all it costs for full coverage? Nope, I'll take full coverage, thanks. Does that have towing? <laughs> She's like, as a matter of fact, it does have towing. And I'm like, great, done. So now I don't even have to care. I can drive that S chassis anywhere. If it gets totaled, if it gets, if it breaks down in the middle of BFE, yep, hello, I need a tow. Um, Insurance company, I'm sending you a bill. Okay. (laughs) Um, Yeah, no, for me to get insured on this 200 SX, it... Uh, the the cheapest insurance policy I could find for a year is four thousand pounds. Holy crap! Which is a third of the car's value. That's insane. My, Your guys' insurance car, is nuts. My current insurance on my two thousand eight Nissan Micra, which cost me one point two k. My current insurance after three years of driving is still a grand per year. Wow. That's I pay 90, 90 pounds per month, so it adds up to be slightly more than a grand per year, actually. That's nuts. And it's not going down anytime soon. In fact, the prices are going up. That is unbelievable. I cannot yep. believe they so, charge you that much. Over the three years I've driven my car, never, never had an accident only ever had other people touch my car i've never scraped my car or anything i have paid about three times my car's value in insurance alone huh it's great i love the uk fantastic system for it that sucks is what that does i am so sorry you have to deal with that shit <laughs> i know my mom's complaining that ins- her insurance is going from 200 to 250 this year tragedy why is her so much lower than yours She's been driving 15 years and hasn't had a crash in, like, a, a good oh, few years. Oh, and since you've only been driving for a handful of years, your rate's still higher. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. It, that makes it sense. sucks, because, like, young drivers, it makes sense why their insurance is higher. But it means, like, you can buy literally any car, and you're still going to have to pay over a grand for your fair share of insurance. Jeez. So it makes it really hard for people to start driving because it's so expensive. I'm just lucky that I'm in a good position to do so. I know I got lucky that my parents offered. They they told me as long as I kept my grades up, they could keep me on there. I, I would be able to stay on their insurance and they would pay for it as long as I was in school since I didn't have a way to earn money. Um, high school, that is. In college, I was. they were nice. and I told them, like, you keep your grades up in college too and we'll keep you on as well. Um, that way you have a car and stuff. They said, but if your grades drop, you're off. I'm like, okay, so I always kept my grades up, but it also I learned in the end it was benefiting them too because they were getting a uh, good student discount out of me. 
Yeah, I can imagine. That's, <laughs> I'm like, we don't get student discounts on ours. We we got a if you had a if you had a kid with good grades and you submitted their report cards, um, whether it be high school, college, oh, whatever, wow. you could uh, submit that and you could get a good student discount showing. Okay, because let's be real, if you're in school and you're getting good grades, odds are you're a responsible person and you're gonna be a good driver as well. Which, That's insane. I mean, oh the logic God. there isn't that far off, though. I mean, somebody who's no, a good... No, logic's good. I mean, yeah, somebody who's a responsible and getting good grades and doing their work and doing a good job, they're not going to be the ones who are likely to go out and be a dumbass on the roads. So they're going to be a smart driver. They're going to be careful. And I kind of had that epiphany of, oh, that's that makes sense that they do that. I never thought of it, but... Uh, it, yeah, it, logic makes sense. I wish they had that here. I mean, I think my mom would rather just not drive at all than let me on her insurance. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she doesn't trust me to drive her car. She drives, currently she drives a 2021 Stanley Leon Excellence. A what Excellence? It's like a Seat Leon. It's a Spanish oh, car Seat. Right, right. I forgot. I forget yeah. about Seat. Those are basically just Volkswagens, aren't they? Uh, they're in the Volkswagen group, but they're closer to Audi's. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, our lo the last car she had was a 2018 or 2019 Audi A3. Nice. Changed that for the Seat Leon. Uh, they're both worth around 25 ish grand, so I should rather me not scratch them. <laughs> Makes and sense. then I think the. The next car that she wants to get is a MG4. Oh, those are cute little cars. Which I'm, I'm strongly against, because it's an electric car. Oh, it's electric. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. Even Murasame I'm just said in my chat, one thing I never want to do is drive an electric car. I do want to... Yeah, I saw. I will <laughs> I say, I, I want to drive an electric car, but I don't want to own one. Because as much as I am against electric cars and what they stand for... Electric is a neat drive system. Instant torque, maximum power all the time. It's a cool idea. It just doesn't work in the practical world yet. Like, See, I'm very divisive because, as you know, I work at go-kart track and we had petrol cars and now we have electric cars. Yeah. And they both have their benefits and their downsides. Electric is so much easier to maintain so much easier to make sure that it keeps the charge rather than having to keep refueling that. Yep. You don't have all the fumes and whatever, but also you don't get the noise and the drive system of the electrics, the brakes, uh, it might just be the brakes in these specific cars, but the brakes feel a fuck ton less effective. The accelerator, while it's more rapid response, if you, oh, due to the grip changes on the floors on our track, the throttle, you have to be so much more careful with, because if you stamp on that throttle coming out of the corner, you are spinning around. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, you got so much wheel spin with them. Like, don't get wrong, they're fun to drive, you've got your boost button, so you can go even faster. Oh, so you and... guys have the, like, super high charge carts then. Because I've, oh, do yeah, I've done the high speed electric carts. But I've never done the ones with the boost buttons. I really want to try those someday. So, ours currently have... They go... We have different speed settings. If we're on speed 3, go about 40 miles per hour. You hold your boost button, they boost up to about 47 miles per hour. You get that for 10 seconds per lap. Oh, that's really um, good. We can also run them at that higher boost speed for the entire lap, but then you don't get boost speed above that. It's just you run it at that speed. That's just full um, tilt. Yeah, we do that for our VIP. Well, our, yeah, I guess you call them VIP events. Uh, Makes sense. Or, or members events. Or like leagues they, when they're when they're skilled drivers that you know race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have memberships, and if you pay for the membership, then you can race on that. We we also have a member circuit, which is a harder track. That's only for the members who run that on the higher speed. That makes um, sense. It's a three, so our old track was all three stories, then we split it off into two tracks, so we can run more people throughout the day, but for the members events, we reopen it for all three floors, because it's wait, a more did, challenging track, did you but say, it's a lot more fun. Wait, 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 did you say stories? Yeah, like three, we have ramps, so you start on the bottom, then you go up a ramp, 
Normally it's two stories, that's, uh, but on the members' events we have three stories. That's what I want to do. That's awesome. Yeah. The, the one I have. Three-story track is about. Or go ahead. Three-story track is about fifty-second lap time. My fastest lap time on the two-story track is in the low thirty-ones. The fastest time that we have is like very high thirties. Like I think it's a thirty point nine. That is amazing. That's the one I want to do. The one I ha the one I go to, well, the two I frequent, I should say. The one is indoor, but it's like in an old abandoned, like closed down Kmart or something. So it's like an old tile floor that was just scraped up. Very abrasive, very like jarring circuit that there's the grip is varied. The floor is uneven. So you have to like know the track, know the floor, know the grip areas and stuff. And there'll be times when you go to turn in and you have to four-wheel drift to get through the corners and stuff. It's it's a weird circuit. The other one oh. is purpose-built, and the indoor section is all at or all polished concrete, and the outdoor section is all fresh asphalt that was laid specifically for the cart track. Mm. So you'll have the indoor during the winter, and then you'll have the indoor-outdoor combined track in the summer. Oh my yeah. god, they are fantastic. Now that that place is cool because like I always compare the 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 rough one with all the old scraped up tile floor. That's a track in Columbus and it's just uh, it it I can it's kind of like running NASCAR on a street course. <laughs> it's rough, it's jarring, it's grating. The grip is kind of skittish, they're hard to drive. The other one is in Medina. And it's fun as hell because that one's like driving F1 cars. You can't yeah. break the grip. Yeah, I mean, that first track would be illegal in the UK. We have something called the National Karting Association, which has regulations for all our karting tracks. And you have to stick to those regulations. You have to have specific barriers depending on high speed, low speed corners, sections of the track. Minimum uh... widths, minimum heights and structures, etc. So we have, like, actual regulations for our car tracks to make sure people are safe. Well, this place has, um, like, safety equipment and stuff. Just the circuit itself is rough, so it's hard to drive on. But they have all the barriers and the safety equipment, helmets, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but you can't, like... I think our services have to be either concrete, asphalt, or wood. They can't be anything else. Well, this is technically so, concrete. It's just it was t concrete that had tile laid on it, and then was all like scraped off with just a flat blade. And okay, there you go. There's concrete underneath of there. Yeah, I mean our track bottom floor is polished concrete, so it's fairly slippery. And then your top two floors are both wood, so you get a lot more grip in those corners. No. But I have driven one of those indoor outdoor circuits. I drove at Carlos Sainz Racing in Madrid. Mm-hmm. Uh, which was a mixed indoor outdoor outdoor course with, I think they were I think 50 mile per hour shell, uh, shell V power carts. Oh wow! So those are fast, fast. Insane. Yeah, they were fast. Uh, I hopped in and won the first session by like a second in my lap time. It was fantastic. I just dominated. Uh, but it was really good fun. I did like that. That's awesome. Especially because like. It was such a complex track with the grip that as long as you know how to get an exit, you can just get that exit and fly past people who don't know how to drive. Like it's trying to hang on to a rocket? Where, you know, yeah, yeah. It's one of those tracks where your skill actually matters. I, on our track, for example, a lot of the places is so hard to overtake because you just get no traction on the exit. So you don't get the speed to overtake down any of our straights because they're kind of small. On this track, you get so much traction that you can just zoom past someone if you're good enough to get that good exit. That's awesome. So it, it takes a lot more strategy, but it's really cool. I do, I do want to go back at some point. I, I miss it. I wish we had it in the UK. I, I wanted, I want to go back to the one I run, which is the one in Medina, the F1 style one. I want to go back and do that again soon because it's been a long time since I've been up there. And I was like, I remember the last time I was up there, they put me in a race because I always go by myself. I don't have friends to go with. So mm. when I go up, I just like show up and race against any, uh, any of the other plebs who show up. 
And the last time I was up there, there were, I think there were five or six guys. And, you know, they're all, I'm just standing in the corner, just, you know, chilling out, whatever. I don't know any of these people. And I hear them like, man, we're so good at this. We're fast, you know, like that was, that was so much fun. And this can be such a good race. And they started me dead last because I was the last to sign up for the group behind this group. And I was the, I was the last one in this flight. So I get out, I get in my little cart, you know, I strap in. And they send us out, and they they basically send everybody out, like, in paste. Okay, this cart goes. You, you all head out onto the track, and then the first cart goes. And then, like, two or three seconds later, the next cart activates, and it gets its full power so they can go. That way, everybody's spread out. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, yeah. you all got some seatbelts? Uh, yeah, full four-point harnesses. Oh, that's wild. Ours don't have any seatbelts. Oh, yeah, ours have... Every place I've ever run has had full four-point harness seatbelts in these carts. Really? That's insane. Yeah, yeah they... are on no seatbelts. Uh, it's just kind of good luck. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Ours have to have full seatbelts in them. And uh, I'm, I'll be honest, the ones in Medina, I'm glad they have them because those seatbelts are the only thing that hold me in the seat when I'm going around the corners because those things yeah, will then you can't, hook. Like, what about your weight distribution? How do you lean into corners? Oh, you don't lean. The cart, it's all mechanical grip. It's like a, it's literally like driving a car. You don't do anything with the grip. Uh, the cart does uh, it for you. You're just piloting, basically. Sounds like a, a less skillful track. Sounds uh, like you're a less skillful driver than me. I, I want to try the ones <laughs> you have to put weight into. Because I've done that in real I'll life with like, the. Well, you remember V-Pair, the cart I had when I was actually cart racing for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was a weight transfer cart. And it was something I've never experienced before. And I got okay at it, but my cart was, I found out, I thought my cart was a 2017. <laughs> Turns out it was 2007. My cart was 15 oh. years out of date. It's no wonder I couldn't keep up. Yeah, that's quite old. Yeah, so I never really got to experience it at full tilt. Mm. But the day I, I mean, went... my gone. I say the day I went up to when I was ga those guys, you know, they're all talking big smack. And so mind you, there yeah, were, yeah. I think there were eight carts on track and they all had three seconds. So I was 24 seconds back off of the guy who left the gate first. It is a, on the biggest track, it is a 38 second loop. I think 38, 35. Mm -hmm. Which is That's pretty, it's pretty good considering it's a small facility in a small to medium sized town in Ohio. We're not, we don't have, mm. you know, a draw for a two minute lap place. Um, but so I go out and I, you know, I start hammering in lap times and within lap, w within the first, like the warm up lap, I hadn't even made it back around to the pits yet. I had already caught and passed two people. I'm like, and of course, you know, these guys are. I come up and they're, you know, they're trying to drive like crazy. And I just come up early break, undercut them and apex them, you know, get gapped loser. And I just blow their doors off. So I'm coming up and the, the couple guys in like third or fourth actually had some skill. And they had caught up to the leader within probably the first three laps. Meanwhile, I'm making mincemeat of the now fourth, third and fourth place. And first and second guys who are now in second and third... I'm, I'm coming up on everybody, and even the fastest guy on the track, I come up to him, and on lap four, going out into the outdoor section, I come up, and I had such a run on him down the back stretch that I bumped him and shunted him through the outside first corner and pushed him wide. And I hear, what the? And all I heard after that was my right front tire screech as I hooked and left him for dead. And I actually put that entire field a full lap down in a 10-minute race. I put them all one lap down, starting from dead last. I was within, what was it? I was within eight-tenths of the lap record at that track all time. And I was the top lap time of the day. And this was like at 6 o'clock at night. And That's pretty good. The one guy walks off, he went, Who the hell are you, and how do you drive like that? I went, just a guy who likes going fast, man. I said, I am literally nobody. I just, I just like driving fast. He's like, dude, you're fast. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. No, go ahead. It's, 
uh, at work is interesting because obviously we work at a racetrack. We we like to race. So my one of my good friends and one of my managers, he's like six foot four, probably double my weight. Uh, we are very competitive with each other because while he he's like one of the instructors, so he teaches the kids that we have. Mm -hmm. He obviously knows racing very well. He's very good at what he does. But I, on our track especially, but I can keep up with him on other tracks as well. I have a way of distributing my weight enough in the cart where I can get such beautiful access and just make all the time back. Like where he's probably better on corner entry. I'm way better on corner exit, so we balance out quite well. And pretty much every race that we have between us, it ends up being like a matter of less than a tenth between us as as the final time. That's awesome. But there's like a good three, four of us that race together quite regularly, and we're like the top three, four members, uh, staff members there. Probably like within the top ten best times at our track. <laughs> no but surprise there. Through doing that. Through doing that, uh, like when I'm home, we have another track nearby. I get to race for a pound because I work there, so it's pretty cool. I get basically free go karting. Got a lot. Like, that's there, always nice. Yeah, I went there on Monday with my brother. Uh, there was a little uh, session that we went on. There was, I think it was eight people in the session. And none of these guys were all in rented care, you know, looking at me and my brother. My brother has his race suit, I have my own helmet, so he's like looking. If everyone was looking, I was kind of intimidated. Go out there. I put in a 38.9. The best times are like th high 36s. I've not raced there in about seven months. <laughs> uh, and I brought out a 38.9. Next best person was in the 41s. <laughs> <laughs> so in the, in the next session that we went out, that was a, I think it was like a 14, 15 year old kid that one of these guys were with. And he was with his dad, like, clearly being really enthusiastic. So I told him to go. I tracked him down, caught up with him, stayed behind him, learned some of his defensive lines. Uh, I went past him pretty easily, told him to stay on my back and just follow what I did. He improved his lap time by a second in that session alone, the 15-minute session. That's It was awesome. fantastic. I love yeah. watching that. It's fun. It's fun watching people who are faster than you. And like, or people who can learn to be faster just by watching you. That's that's always so cool to see. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's something I've learned to pick up because when I'm marshalling a race, I get so fucking bored because there's nothing to do. I just watch what they do, notice all their mistakes, and know how to fix them so I can tell them after the session. So I've gotten used to spotting their mistakes, so I can just show them like, look. Stay straighter on the exit of the corner, get a better run out wide, use more of the track, or take a later entry to get a later apex and a faster exit onto a long straight, for example. That, that tends to be a lot of the tactics on our track, at, back in where I live and where I work. We have two hairpins that go onto long straights, and if you take a regular apex, because the exit of the corner is not particularly wide, you lose a lot of your exit speed on a final turn that you have to make. Whereas if you take a later apex and you get a straighter line out, you can get so much speed on the boost button, boost your acceleration, and you'll zoom in against everyone else, basically. You almost have to, so it, you almost have to make the two corners into one to accommodate the fact that they're back-to-back. Oh, no, no, no. So you got a hairpin onto a long straight. It's about a five second straight. Then you have a 270 degree teardrop corner, which you have to drift around to be quick. It's really tricky. And then you've got another three second straight. And then you've got another hairpin that goes onto an up ramp and about another five second straight. Oh, uh, okay. That so you just sense. have to be tactical about your exits on all three of those corners to really get the best exit you can and keep your speed and momentum you gotta make sure you get up to your it's, top speed on the straightaway yeah yeah it's so tricky to do but once you get it down it's really fun to drive that's kind of the way the medina track is actually thinking about it because there are there are two main straight straightaways and there are a there's a lot of like the outdoor section has a handful of really good sweepers but inside is a lot more technical, like 90 and 180 degree corners. 
and you have to make sure that you it, you don't enter the corner. Like the one is, it comes down and it's an S's section. So it's a hard 90 degree, and then you get to just a full speed, and you have to lay on the brakes for a a braking zone that trails left, and an immediate 90 degree right, which only goes maybe 20 or 30 feet to the right, and then it's an immediate sweeper left to, like, right chicane that, uh, I guess chicane is the wrong word. Do I have a way I can draw this? I think I can picture it. it you know, it just kind of reminds me of Suzuka the way that you're describing it. The Suzuka asses. Um, a little... Let me do this real quick. Oops. Nope. Um, that's the wrong button. Speaking of F1, did you watch um, the race in Budapest? I don't actually get any channels here that do F1. There's like F1 TV that you can subscribe to. I might have to look into that because I can't actually it's watch like, any from. Yeah, like no, where I think I'm F1 at. TV is like five bucks a month, and you can watch all the races and qualifying, or whatever. Oh, okay. I might. Yeah, I'm, that actually would I'll be send pretty you a link. cool. Thank you. Yes, please. I'll look into it. So. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, okay, yeah, this will work. Max Verstappen had a had a hissy fit huh. because his car wasn't fast, uh, and he nearly just killed Lewis Hamilton with a stupid dive bomb. Well, I heard um, they banned goal. him from doing any more late night eye racing now. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> but did you did you hear what happened with McLaren? No, I didn't actually. So so La McLaren, Oscar, uh, Lando, and Oscar were. Mm -hmm. uh, starting one tier. Oscar got a better start, and he was in the lead for about 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, not 45 seconds, he was in the lead for about 45 laps. Um, but for the second and last pit stop, they brought Lando in two laps before Oscar, which gave him an undercut to overtake Oscar. Um, and he said, they said, uh, give the position back to Oscar at your own convenience. Now, Oscar made a mistake trying to catch back up to Lando, which pushed him back a bit. And Lando was on the radio saying, like, complaining about giving the place back. And they were trying to tell Lando to give it back without threatening him. But it was really bad. Like, he, they were basically pleading to Lando to give the position back. And he did within the last, like, three laps. So Oscar won his first race, but it was such a shit show. Oh, jeez. It's kind of cringe, but, I mean, McLaren won too, I can't complain. But it's still kind of sad to watch. Yeah. I can actually do this instead, hang on. Hopefully, it'll be an interesting race. I mean, it's a sprint weekend this weekend, so we get lots of racing. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you this so you can see, and I'm showing this to the stream as well. Okay. After this, I'll probably despair because it's like 1 a.m. Uh, I need to go to bed. Understandable. Um, why can I not? Oh, because it's minimized. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So this is the track I race on. This is high voltage karting in Medina. So this is no the. No gloves. What? No gloves on a mechanical car. No, he's not even wearing... He's wearing shorts. His legs are exposed. Oh my god, that's... Now, you do have to wear a helmet, and you do have seat belts. And your legs are trapped in by the uh, seat, so your legs really can't go anywhere. Oh, that's incredible. You don't have fire protective gear in a gas go-kart? No, these are electric. These are all electric. Oh, uh, okay. If yeah, they're they electric, then then fair enough. Yeah, they're they're all electric, so... Here's how this track is. This is the out. This is for a second, man. holy shit. This is the entry to the outdoor section right here. So this is okay. just coming out of the garage door. This is the first like sweeper. Oh, okay, this actually reminds me quite a lot of color scientist track. And then they right get, there, these are the garage doors. This is where the video started, was right here by this bricks going this yeah, direction. Yeah. But this is the indoor section where it transitions to at, uh, concrete. This is the section I'm talking about. Breaking... Uh, yeah, let me go back a little bit here. Yeah, right here is the yeah, section. Yeah. You have this, like, it's kind of like a joggy straight, but you can pretty much just go straight. You have this left mm. braking zone. 
hard right, 20 feet, slow down left, and then back right again. That's the check-in desk over here on the right side. You go under the overpass, and then this is the main straight, this is the start-finish stretch. Hard chicane, and then go back outside again. Bang, and then this is the fastest part of the track right here. Yeah, well, that seems like a lot of drifting around those sections seems to be a fastest way to be back and forth. Actually, it's not. You don't want to drift anything at all, um, with the exception of this corner. Sometimes you'll four-wheel drift slightly. All of the inside stuff is pure grip. Seriously? Like you'll hear tire, you'll hear tire squeal, but look at the look at the front wheels. They're never actually breaking any traction anywhere. He's missing time. Oh, yeah. He's not Why clipping that apex. Oh, wow. Because we have similar material, but ours is all polished concrete is very very slidey. Ours is very grippy. Now this corner, you'll see, yep, you can hear him sliding it a little bit. You see the counter steer catch. All grip, all grip. Look, no counter steer this whole time. Yeah, that's impressive. It's oh, only that one high speed surface. corner that you get grip on. But this is the track I run, and it is fun as hell. Yeah, I, I can give you a good race there, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, this is a this is one of my favorite places to run. He needs to cut, stay closer to that wall there to get a better time. Oh, 100%, yeah. This is the track, though, right here. I am I was at this place one time, and I was the only one to sign up for, an, uh, for a race the one day. And I go out, I run three or four laps, and I was down within a second of the lap record. And coming under the underpass, on, like, lap six out of, like, I think 15, right about here. All of a sudden, the cart felt like it hit nitrous. And it's electric. This thing took off like a rocket down the straight, and I actually almost slid it into the barrier on the right here because it went in so much faster than I was expecting. I about crashed into the red pylon here by this indoor pole. The cart was sliding. I actually had to chirp the tires to slow it down. I'm like, what the hell? When I got done, I asked him, because it was this moment of, oh shit, that was way faster. I think the limiter just came off this cart. And I went for a rocket ride for the next 10 laps, trying to set the lap record. And I got down, that was the day I got within like three or four tenths. This was the second race I did. And oh my god, yeah, the, I asked him, I said, the cart got faster, like lap six. He said, yeah, you were the only one out there. And he said, we could tell you knew how to drive. So I went ahead and just uh, turned the limiter off for you so you can race, you know, yeah. full tilt. I wanted you to have full cart power to see what you could do. He said, two tenths off lap record here isn't too bad. And I'm like, I'll take that. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. That, that place is at, uh, fun as hell. Call of Signs Cotton Madrid is the track that I did. It was so nice. Go Kart Madrid, you said? Yeah, Madrid. F1 oh, driver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a clip of Carlos Sainz driving him. This is his on his own. This is him on his own track. Yeah. Oh, they've got Mario Kart music. <laughs> yeah, the, you can see it's very bumpy. The lights what? are awesome. Yeah. That is a really and cool effect. The indoor and outdoor are both uh, both asphalt. That Jeez. was a perfect overtaking point on that happened that... because people took it way too wide. Oh yeah, that's this is cool also as hell. You've raced inside. this track? Yeah, yeah, I raced this what? track. I got a very good time on that as well. That's really cool. This is sick. Oh yeah, the over-under! Get him! Oh, that's perfect! Go around to through the Red Bull overpass. That's cool. Oh my god, he's making mincemeat of the oh, This yeah. is This is it what I love to side. watch. Oh wait, this is just the indoor circuit. This also goes outside. Oh, does it really? Like a, yeah, there's a full outdoor section. If you find a different video, there's a, there's a full outdoor section as well. Wow, you can tell the people in front of him know what they're doing though, because they're really not losing a ton of time to a literal F1 driver. Yeah, yeah. But no, uh, when, they, when he goes past the Red Bull overpass, here, around yep. this corner, yeah, around this corner to the right, you'll see there's like little shutters. Oh yeah! yeah. They, they go outside and you get like a full, I think about 20, 25 seconds of outdoor racing as well. That's cool. So it's like a full minute long lap. It's really cool. 
And these are these are very similar cards to what we have. I, I would show you, but I'm not gonna show you. Actually. These look like Sodi cards. Well. Yeah, they are. We use Sodi's at work as well. Okay, see, that's what that's what the one in Columbus runs, the the really hard to drive one. See, ours aren't, and these weren't either. These were really nice to drive. Oh no, the carts oh. down there are really nice. It's the well, let's see. Let's see if I can find... Yeah, look, this is the place. This is the place. Mm. Oh, stupid ad. I don't care about Mentos. Okay. I'm going to send you go. uh, a video of my, my track, how the, how the three story is. Uh, it's on new cards now, but don't show on stream because it's, it has the name of the town that I live in. No, that's, <laughs> no you, all I'm showing is my browser window. This is the, mm. this is the other track I run in in Columbus. The pits look yeah. really nice, but look at look at this floor. Oh god, yeah, that's bad. This is the this is the racing surface. Look at all the black marks on the wall from people losing control. Yeah, that's terrible. This place is a wild fucking ride. Wait till you hear the cart engage on this one. This place is fat. Now, the cart, the track layout here. See the two carts up to the right? Mm. Those are about to make a 180 degree hairpin and come back down. They go around that corner and all the way to the very back corner of the building down that left straightaway. They make a hairpin down there, come back around towards the orange barrel, make another 190 degree corner, back to where that like checkered flag pendant is on the wall under the red banner in the back. Yeah, I can see. The track looks interesting it's a very weird like triangle shape let's see how he yeah. goes let's see what happens when they go green look again floor condition seriously come oh this is wait this is a different this is a different uh oh no it's not no it's not no yeah this is a. this is usually a sharper corner right here this yeah. comes down and makes a sharper how long ago was this three years ago They've, I've seen flaws like that, and they're not normally that bad. But here, this is more recent. This was ten months ago. Yep, yeah, this is more recent. This will be a better view viewpoint. Yeah, also these are. Mm, oh, ones. this is going the Beautiful. opposite direction. What the hell? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's see if these are the. These guys I'm guessing since this is the second round, it'll be the same back. Oh yeah, this is backwards. I don't want to watch backwards. I want to see. I want you to see the way I race it. Okay. Yep. Here, I'll just play this one. Yeah. This is the way we race it. It's such a goofy track layout. It seems like it's way too thin. And those yeah. barriers are definitely Look, not safe enough. Oh no, they they move when you hit them. <laughs> they, yeah, they'll slow you down, but. The issue is they move into <laughs> the parts of other track. Uh, there is no tires no. between that. Well, they, they will. They there's air gaps between them, but they will pull the barriers and change the corners when you hit them. It'll change the way the track drives. Yeah, that's bad. That's it's like, it's hilariously bad. Look at the floor. So Look dangerous. how speckled it is. Listen to oh the tires God. screech. This is under pace speed. How is this legal? Oh my god. Oh, look at the the barrier out here is always pulled out to a point. So you can't exit from enter from wide. You have to ex enter from shallow in this corner. It sucks. Here we go. Green. Yeah. Watch the carts and the way they slip around. Oh, he... Yeah, he... <laughs> That, that is a black flag right now. That's yeah. That and see, yeah, that's just yep. See now, that's drifting it right there. Yeah. Look at the floor though. It's just all chewed up and speckly and yeah. This is way different than it is now. Mm. So that's the entire lap right there. That's nothing. Wow. That's it's really really short, but this yeah. track has changed a lot. If I go forward to what it looks like modern day, this was more recent. This is the this is the track in reverse direction now. 
This is what the track looks like today. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a decent track to drive, but it's really short. It is really short, but look at the amount. Okay, look at the steering input. Look at him counter steering it. This track's oh, slidey, and this is what the layout is now. To where it's yeah, actually yeah. like the corners are a little bit different, but. Well, why don't you show me this lap? I don't need to watch the second video that I send you. Okay. Uh, don't, don't put it on screen, but I just want you to see. Because when we reopened our track, we had really, really hard tires on. Uh huh. And the track was brand new concrete and it was covered in dust. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a recipe for disaster. It was. It was. There was so many crashes, but it was so funny to drive. I bet. You yeah, know, I would drive this track if it was a bit more safe. This track seems fun. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah, it, it's fun as hell, but it's uh crazy how sketch it is to drive. You said yeah, you yeah. sent it to me. Where at? Oh, I see it. It's in our, our server. Yep. The I first see. one is our three story. If you wanted to see the three story in the old car. And then the next one is a race of the new cars back when it was really slippery. It has since become more grippy. Okay. There's going to be audio here, but there'll be no video for the stream. Audio. Uh, audio for the first video does kind of announce that. Gotcha. I'm just going to turn it off. Yeah, yeah. It's like a company flying so, lap. The so this first is, one. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, so it's like... It's all one big room. It's but it's got like a upper and level, upper and lower levels. To, oh, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a storage unit. Whoa! Uh, it's like a big industrial unit. That's sick. If you're watching it, I can't see it. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm watching it. I don't have it up on the stream. Uh, okay, okay. I can sh I can share it with you if you want. Yeah, I'll watch it with you. <laughs> okay. Um, let me open it. So. And... On that first well, wait, track. you said yo, you said not to watch the. Well, you said not to watch them, uh, so you, that they couldn't I be mean, seen. I like on not on actual like Twitch stream. I'm Discord uh, stream. Oh, well. okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, in that case, let me. Yeah, no. So the, this first one, my lap record on this was fifty-two point nine. Dang. Okay. I've got it muted right now because it does say the name. <laughs> this was also driven by one of my managers, and I think it's really funny. Oh, uh, okay. So this gotcha. this first corner here, uh -huh. you take that full throttle all the way through. That's awesome. Try and pin it down. You got a right chicane into a left hairpin down the ramp. Left hairpin at the bottom. This bottom floor has changed quite a bit, but the middle floor and the top floor are exactly the same as they were. You got, uh, oh wow! Nice yeah. Teardrop corner. Look how much it's, look how drifty it is. Yeah, yeah. You have to take that really slow. Wow. Yeah. yeah this... He's going a bit slower than I would have normally taken it, but it's very, uh, it's a very tactical track. This one. You got, oh up, yeah. Up, cause look at the front tires; they're like pointed at each other. What the hell? Uh, I think that's just the GoPro illusion. Oh, they're not actually like that? No. Oh, okay. This corner is a very important one to get a good exit on because you're going straight into an up ramp. Got double hairpins into a sweeping right-hander, into a quick right, then left, and into the down ramp. That uh, this corner is so much fun. Just that, take it oh full my God. tilt yeah, down, down the, the inside. Down the ramp, high speed, full yeah. tilt. That's fun as hell. Yeah, that that's our full member circuit. It's slightly different now, but that that is such a good track. Oh man, yeah, that looks fun. Okay. <laughs> if you watch the other videos, so slippery and slidey. Where's the? I did. I missed where he went up the ramp to get back to the second story. Oh, here it is. Uh, it's here. Yeah. So okay, after, there's uh, ramp. The there's the up one. ramp one. And then you got a, a left hairpin into a right left chicane. And then it's another then, hard left to go up the ramp again. Okay, yeah, that's where I missed. Yeah, it's very important you get that exit into the into the up ramp as good as you can. Is it smart to use the boost on the up ramp to help pull the pull against gravity? Yes, okay. definitely. Though when we had these cars, these cars didn't have a boost button, so you couldn't do that. Oh, uh, okay. This but is just now on the new track. Yes, use the use the boost button on the up ramp, hundred percent. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool as hell. Yeah. 
And then you can see the new cards in this video and in the other one, but you can also see how slidey and crap it was when we reopened. Oh wow, yeah, those are... You can see the understeer. Yeah, those are rough. But now we're on the polished concrete. Oh shit, look how... Oh my god! That yeah, looks fun was... as hell! <laughs> it was like driving on ice, and then you've got this back corner, which you still have to drift around to get a good exit. That's because amazing. Because of how tight that exit angle is. Uh-huh. And then here, instead of your right left, it's just a uh, left hairpin, because we have oh. the pit lane at the back there now. That's so cool, though. This looks fun and as hell. Upstairs. This is on the yellow lights as well. This isn't full tilt. This is going at the start of the race. Oh, wow. You see, when those lights above go green, that's when... You know, green light conditions, and there we go. Oh, Race okay. is a go. Okay, this is cool. What the hell? Yeah, I'm it's so slimy. I'm gonna turn the audio on so I can hear now. Oh my god, those are so slidey. That's fun as it's, hell. It's so <laughs> much better now, but yeah. I gotta you show you the them. one track I used to run. They would lay baby powder on it so you could drift. <laughs> that you was see cool. That little button beneath this guy's thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the boost. boost mode. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. How do you know if it's in boost mode? Is there you an indication? It's just there's no like indicator light or anything though. No, no, no. But you can feel that. Okay, I didn't know if that. Well, for like other people, I didn't know if you could see it on camera or not. No, no, no. Uh, you can't. But these cards do have headlights, and they also have brake lights. That's cool. All the ones I race have brake lights. None of them have yeah, headlights, you can see but. The brake lights. None of ours are un like underneath roofs like this either, so yeah, they're I mean, all in well lit areas. On the oncoming cars as well. If you if you take a look onto the other side, you can see the bright headlights coming by. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, no, they're, they're really cool. These cars, the best thing about them as well, they also have a reverse gear. Oh, that's nice. We don't tell the customers about them, obviously, because you're not allowed to drive in reverse. But for us, if we're pulling cars out of barriers. Which, as you can see, these are much sturdier barriers, so if your car gets wedged underneath them, it's a pain in the ass to get them out. But reverse helps um, that? Reverse helps so much. Before, we'd have to get someone to lift up the barrier, and then someone to pull the car out. Oh, wow. And it was, yeah, it was deadly. See, we were lucky. Uh, our, our tracks actually Most let us. Uh, they tell you, like, alright, here's the thing. If you get spun out, you have to let off the gas, you press the button, and then you can press the gas to go backwards again. And it's like, oh, well, that's handy um, to know. Like, that, oh that that's way better. I wonder, do they have... We don't trust... Um, yeah, no, we don't trust our fucking drivers to do that. We, if, we tell them, if you spin out, stay where you are, put your hand up, one of us will come over, we'll go yellow lights, and we'll pull you out. Because the issue is we we normally run like 14 people in a race and a lot of our corners are blind. So if you're stuck in a wall, you start to back out and someone's going full tilt around that corner, they're going to go straight into you and it's going to fucking hurt. So we uh, we make sure that people are safe by pulling people out of walls ourselves. Makes sense. I want to see if I can find a video of the... Oh, why do you have studies rally in your book bags? What? Abigail and Emily from Stardew Valley. My two girls that I like in Stardew. Mm. You give them flowers, that's how you make the happiness go up. Uh, in the case of Abigail, you actually give her amethyst that you mine. She likes yeah, the purple stones. You do. I normally just give them all flowers, though, because everyone likes flowers, and it's just easier. True, that that does make it easier. Is that is this it? I hope... Yeah, oh this God, was it. This was it. Those cards? Oh no, wait. This is the kids' track. This is, but you can see, see all the. Oh, yeah, she went to the well, pits. But this is the track. I. A little bit, but you see like the traces of white on this track. That's that's the yeah. spreader right there. Yeah, that was the spreader for the baby powder they would put down on these tracks, and you could actually go out and drift the track here. I can't find video oh of God. it though. That sounds dangerous uh, well they weren't very fast you couldn't go very fast the whole True. the cart would just spin the tires and go sideways the whole time and you had to actually like learn to chain transition drift the whole track in like this like back and forth manner to really get it right i wonder if mm. i could i wish i could find 
Is this... Oh, maybe, yeah. maybe this is it? <laughs> oh, no, this is the other track they have. Damn it. I just saw a Zen listing on your recommended. I now have uh, oh. nine S tiers. Do you really? Yeah, I have four Bang Boos. I have the Bala, the Rocket Boo, the Shark Boo, and a million. I haven't um, even unlocked the banner for <laughs> Bang Boos yet. Really? I'm, I'm one level short. I'm level 17. I have Ellen, I have Soldier. I have Soldier. She's my one and only and S rank. Necromata as well. I, I was quite happy to get Soldier because I wanted a fire attack for the uh, Shia defense. Soldier's good. I wanted, uh, oh, Kalita though. I really wanted Kalita she's, and I didn't get her. She's good. Ellen is like next tier broken. Really? Like, Ellen can solo clear anything in the game that I've unlocked, basically. Oh, that's cool. Because she does so much... I've got a belt, because she does so much ice damage, and then you got your crits on top of that. And she, she does so much attack, it's insane. But my... Uh, yeah, I've got three S tiers, and then I also have Ellen's S tier W engine. Oh, that's nice. The, the banner one, and I also got another banner S tier. I can't remember exactly who it's for, though. I got... I think it might be Kaleidas, because it's a stun one. Because I have it on Ambi at the moment, because I don't have Kaleida. But I think I got Kaleida's special W engine as well. So yeah, I have nine, nine S ranks. I'm world level 43. I've completed all of Hollow Zero. I've completed all of the stable node of Shi Defense. I've completed all the story. I have played too much. <laughs> it looks fun. I want to play more of it. I really enjoyed it. I just so haven't had good. a chance too much. Oh my god, that was a team sport trap. I do. I do. Want to, I talking about drifting. I do want to build one of these. I'm fucking John Deere. <laughs> it's a drifting lawnmower. <laughs> that does look really fun. <laughs> How fast can you cut your grass? Yes. <laughs> oh man. That looks so much that looks so cool. I definitely want to do that. Ah. Uh, well, I know you got to get yeah. to bed so I I won't hold you too I much do. longer. I know you're already up later than you really probably should be. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send you a song. Okay. That my a uh, completely random off topic, but uh, you know Deadpool and Wolverine's coming out, the movie? Yeah, yeah, it actually debuted today, I think. At least yeah. it hit my local Oh, yeah, it today. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my favorite artist, Stray Kids, uh -huh. made, they're in the OST for the movie. They've made a song for that, but this isn't the song for that. This this song and music video is in the new album, and it, uh, it has some special guests in the music video. It was really cool. Oh, okay. I'll have to check it out, then. And the cool. song absolutely slaps. Ooh, and yeah. Then, I'll check that out. Oh. The, the, the movie I... song is the one that I'm going to send you afterwards. Cool. Oh, and I don't know I don't know if you guys got this movie here or not. Uh, rather there or not. Over here, we had Twister's debut this week. Oh, yeah. We've got that. Highly... I never saw the original, so I just don't really care about it. <laughs> the, well, it, you don't have to see the original for the new one to be a good movie. It's a good standalone movie. I know the original. There are a couple of references um, to the old movie. Like, they use a... At, in the very start of the movie, they use a uh, old weather tool called Dorothy, which is a tip of the hat to the first one, but it's not, like, plot-sensitive at all. It's just, if you know, you're like, oh, yeah, Dorothy, they're still using that. And if you don't know, you're like, Oh, it's just an old wet because they even mentioned like this thing's so old it doesn't work. You're like, oh, it's outdated equipment. Okay, whatever. But other than that, genuinely just a good standalone movie. Could not recommend it enough. It is really, really good. Yeah, my mom's very excited for it. I don't know. Disaster movies are kind of like not my thing. Never have been. It's not like a disaster movie like that. It's not like a Okay, a Sharknado, or a Pacific Rim, or, you know, Tsunami movie, or anything like that. The Tornadoes are kind of the 
yeah, it's a disaster movie, but it's more of an action thriller that just happens to be that the action and thrills are the natural disaster. It's not like a, you know, uh, how shall I say? It's not a, okay, Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's kind of a disaster movie, but it's because, okay, yeah, the dinosaurs are out and everything's going haywire. It's a big disaster, but that's not it, like you wouldn't call that a disaster movie. It's an action thriller. That's mm. what this is more of is it's more action thrills than it is anything else. And the, the characters are also very likable and the cars are fucking awesome. The main, like, characters for the first half of the movie are all running brand new Mopar equipment. The main guy, like, to start the movie is driving a Ram Rebel TRX, a 707 horsepower, four-wheel drive, off-road monster of a pickup truck. Along with, uh, uh, two, like, uh, V8 Dodge, Deco uh, Dodge Durangos. And a big Dodge Promaster van. Like, they have a whole convoy of them. They're awesome. Ah, that sounds pretty cool. The other I guy... Might, I might take a look about. The other guy has a big dually ram... Uh, it's a big V8 dually ram with a uh, full exoskeleton. Augers that can, like, anchor it down into the ground to ride out a tornado in the truck. <laughs> like... It's it's a real I remember, that was like my one of my favorite takeaways from the movie was wow they did cars really cool in this movie <laughs> so that's good on these yeah so uh, right bad time for me yeah thanks for hanging chat and CG hey my pleasure thanks for hanging out with us it's always good to chat with you we don't get to talk very often so it's always nice to hang yeah. out and catch up a little bit it's been a while. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you that new play when I try to. Yeah, I hope you better to good use. Absolutely, I definitely will. I'm very excited. I hope that people will enjoy it. <laughs> I definitely think right. they will. That'll be really cool. Ta ta. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Night, Gooly. Well, that's fun to get a visitor. We don't get a visitor very often. I forgot how much I like talking to people. Uh, okay, that should take care of that. I am still live and in the uh, server, so we're good there. I haven't seen Sadie in a day or two now. Strange she isn't on yet. Maybe we'll catch her later. Of course, she is a working girl now, so... Probably shouldn't say it like that. That sounds bad. She has a job now. <laughs> working girl does mean something different. She ain't that kind of person. All right, so. Uh-oh. Oh, man, don't tell me it's on the other screen again. Bear with me a minute. There's my spot. My Spotify's hidden on my other screen. I couldn't see it because I have it switched over to uh, game mode right now. Matcha made in heaven. Dude, I just listened to this ad. Bruh. Alright. Super auto...
Oops, I didn't mean to take a screenshot. It looks like I took a couple of them. Oops. Oh, wait. We're going to run the Z. We'll see how it does. I did build this specifically for this event, so we'll see how it does. All right, here we go. Oh, hi, Sadie. Welcome in. Man, it's a night of having friends to talk to. Ghoulie was here for like the last hour and a half. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. There you are, loud and clear. Yeah, sorry, I had to lower down the AC. All um, good. Could you, uh, could you, could you mute your mic real quick? I gotta talk to you. Um, yeah, I just entered the trial, so I'm in the middle of a race right now. Can we chat in, like, two or three minutes? Sure. Cool. Just, uh, wait until your first course is done, and then yeah, and then I'll just mute. That way I can talk to you. Uh, I'll leave the stream up. They'll be able to see me, but they won't be able to hear me or you. Okay. That suits you? Uh, I just heard that uh, apparently... Uh, how many rebrands did you do now? Oh, Ame? Or Nehru yeah. now? Yeah, she's done a lot of them. Do live 2D, which is great. Where it's like, wow. Well, yeah, she's she's struggling to find an identity that suits her right now, and it's like, you know what? I. Wow. All right, yeah, I'm just bailing on this trial attempt. My teammate just. My team. My teammate. Oh, no, I just. I already exited the. My teammate literally drove me off of the road. So, fuck that. I'll just try again with a different car. <laughs>
Okay, so we're back live now, by the way. All right, welcome back, chat. Sorry about that. We had to have a private chat there for a minute. All is well, though. Beauty of having friends. Sometimes you just need somebody to talk to for a minute. I don't really have... I don't really have a cooldown yet. I don't really have a cooldown What do you mean you don't really have a cooldown yet? Uh, I don't have anybody to bend off of, you know? Mm, you got me. Yeah, but I can't call you in the middle of work, you know? True. Yeah, that's the one downside is... I am uh, busy sometimes. That's uh, part of life. Okay, that's three, four. Is there another cop car co coming by? Five, six, seven. Seven cop cars flung by without any of, any of their lights on. That's usually bad. Um, yeah. Um, I did get a couple of reports of... Uh, a uh, vehicular homicide near my area, so... Oof. Yeah. Wait. Vehicular ho Like... Oh. Yeah. Rammed the car... And rammed the car to somebody on purpose. Yeah, that's... That's bad. They're at large. You're in this area. Well, be careful. I oh, don't worry. Last time they'll do is hit my car. And... Anyway. I'm gonna ask my dad if I could just extend the time for like 30 minutes because I, I'm really tired and I just want to, I just want a game, dude. I get that. Of course, that up. Well, I mean, they should... That your parents should have less of a problem with you gaming after hours now that you're get, going to work no, making a living. No, only three hours, apparently. My dad doesn't really like it when I still play over three hours. You know, uh, like, yeah. Brother. Yeah, that's why I need to get my own place. Yep, that way you have your, your life, your schedule, and your time. I am a firm believer in that. Best thing I ever did. I love my parents. Best thing I ever did was getting the hell away from them a little bit. Like, having my own place to call my own and do what I wish is the best thing I ever did. Alright, I'm gonna need to go back in my house because, um... First of all, um... Yeah. Second. I'm gonna just debrief everything first. Other than right now... Today was okay other than right now, so... Fair enough. Well, like I said, get, you know, I'm glad You're you got... Are you going to be playing Forza for, like, another couple of hours? Uh, most yeah. likely, yeah. I'm going to be here till I get the playlist done, and I really haven't got anything done in the two hours I've been on so far. Because me and Ghoulie well, were just I, talking I and catching up on old times. Should, I could also say that you should try and complete your Genshin quest, so... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you got the summer event going on. You still got about 36 days. Yeah, I need to do something with that, I think. Yep. Anyway, I'll catch you later. All right. Later, Sadie. All right. Let's go to work, chat. Come on, now. Who's messaged me what? Oh, it's general. <laughs> okay, that's funny. What the hell? Alright, let's go back to work. Okay, good. <laughs> Do 
224 horsepower. I think I can get better. I think I can get more power with a little less tire. We're going to run rally tires. They're good all-surface tires, and that should give me a little bit more room to get a little bit more power under the hood, which is going to be imperative. Nope. I'm knocking that spark down one. Hey, Smasher, what's up, bud? Two hundred fifty horse, one point six G's. I'm just running Forza. If you want to jump in and run the playlist with me, bud, more than welcome. As always, calls open. I'm in Discord, so if not, I understand. But if you want, like I said, call is open. You're welcome to join. And another VC at the moment, but I can join for playlist. Cool, yeah. Feel free to jump in and race. Uh. All right, now I just need a paint job. Find new designs. Is there a Ryan Cooper? I know there's a Ryan Cooper livery here somewhere. Uh, description. Ryan. We'll see how that works. Should come up immediately. Yep, there it is. Need an invite? Coming your way. Heck yeah. Let's ride. Festival playlist. Did you get the invite, Smasher? I sent your I sent it your way. Hey, welcome in, Smasher. All right. You ready? Finding team. Minute 30.
gotta turn my Dia acrylic stand. It keeps reflecting my TV and drawing my eye. <laughs> Driving me nuts. You know where I haven't been yet? I got 47 seconds. West end of the highway is this new cars and coffee dealio. But I don't know where exactly. Must be around this area, I suppose. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is cool. I like this area. Cool. Oh, there's Smasher over there. Cool. All right, Smasher. Oh, cool. They even gave us a little, like, photo booth area. That's cool. And, like, a little pit area. That's cool. A matcha made in heaven. Alright, that's my current car. I had another one of these cars built, it looks like. Handling's better, and launch is worse. Interesting. We'll try this one. I have faith in my current build. I know more now than I did then. Ah. All right. Let's ride. Araxis. That's cool. I love that. In Gen Endless Kumo. That's. I love this car. What the hell? Who brought the rally raid? Two GTRs and S15. A rally raid? Oh boy. This is gonna go well. I'm in the only properly tuned car other than that S S15. So, yeah, two GTRs, a uh, Fair Lady Z, a Rally Raid, and a S... Yeah, the S15, the Rally Raid, two GTRs, and the Fair Lady. The Z33, basically. I don't know what kind of motor you got in that rally raid truck, but I bet you five bucks you don't have the power. This guy knows what's up in that S15. This track ain't about high speed, it's about handling. Wow, real professional there, buddy. So, straight sideways means how he's going to drill you in the corner. Got it. Username is accurate. Please continue. Fuck it. Going through the barrier. It's fine. Get apexed. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Oops. That didn't go very well. And 
there's no corners to make up the time. I screwed up. Holy shit, look at the run I have. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> Holy shit! I ran it back for fifth! What a run! You had an LFA engine? I'm in a stock. Oh, you're in the rally raid! That's you, you psychopath! I should have known it was you. Holy shit. Woo! That was a wild ride coming down the stretch there. Oh my god, that was a fun as hell race. I would have had everybody had I been able to keep it straight. Maybe not you, Smasher, but everybody else. I didn't know that one corner was so sharp, I, my car didn't hook. Cost me a lot of time. I goofed. I goofed. B class is tough because you don't have enough grip to work with for the way I like to drive. I like A class stuff better. A class, you can really get a good balance. Hello, Kitten Shop. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We are playing some Forza Horizon 5 tonight. Uh, in my party is SmasherGuy1995. He's not on call, but he is in my lobby racing with me. He is in the very large Rally Raid Nissan. I am in the Ryan Cooper-inspired S13, and this is the trial. And we're about to see how good my little S13 is on a handling track, because that's what this entire car was designed to do. So, like, meow, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I am a cybernetic gender-fluid cat boy, so if you are with the name like Kitten Shop, I assume you're a kitten enthusiast. And I am indeed a cat-inspired VTuber. Albeit with a uh, bit of cybernetic and gender-fluidity mixed in for the funsies. Uh. <laughs> Me a Latino cat boy? Nice. I'm just Midwestern American, but I can always appreciate a fellow cat person for sure. In your case, boy. I like all I like all cat inspired VTubers. They're cool. A lot of fun to be had there, you know. Yeah, sure, maybe there may be a lot of us, but the more the merrier. Cats are cool and there's a reason everybody picks them. Hot on your heels, Smasher. I know you can't talk, but you can hear me, so... Uh-oh. Whew. Come on, come on, come on. I should exp I should mention, uh, sometimes you'll come in, and since I am gender fluid... Whoop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! I may or may not have a catnip emote. Nice. I don't have very many emotes. Uh, I try to use them whenever I can, but I haven't. I don't have a lot of money to spend, so I don't have many emotes. Um, I will tell you, sometimes you'll come in and find me in my female mode, Sonia Sakata. Um, same person, just I look a little different. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, uh, I, I should get a catnip emote. I never thought about that. That would be a good one to have. That would be a very good one to have. Come on, come on, come on. He's going to break hard right here. Yep. I don't have to. Nice. Come on, car. Drive. Smasher. Paving the path. Gate is open.
I, bu I punched a hole in the uh, roundabout for you, Smasher. Hopefully you can use it. Winner, winner. Let's go. The S13 comes good on the handling track. Oh, and we're going to round three, it looks like. I'm the only one in the top five? What? What happened, Smasher? I know you hit the tree. Did you have more trouble there? Uh, comfy catnip. <laughs> Those are good. Here are mine. These are what I have to use. Got it. I forgot. This is my onboard AI Violet. My real life 240. This isn't a picture of it, but it's uh, inspired by it. I also have Rage, Smile, Drive, Angry, Sad, and all of my Violet expressions as well. So those are those. Your rear end went out. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Uh. Uh. Yeah, that makes for a long race. Did me punching the hole through the gate help you at all? Did that help you in the roundabout pick up some positions or no? Uh, it do be like that sometimes. Yeah, you know it. Kinda? Okay. I was hoping it did a little bit. Oh boy. A lot of high speed here, Smasher. Be ready for those sweepers. I'm not gonna come good until the back half of this track. First 50%, I'm gonna lose a lot of ground to you guys. I'm gonna have to make it up on the backside. My car ain't built for high speed. Come on, car. Come on, car. Oh, God, not this guy again. Straight sideways. Come on. <coughs> God, I need about 40 more horsepower. Since it's AI, I don't have to feel bad. I wouldn't race real people this dirty, but I will absolutely race AI that dirty. Hi, right, Smasher, I finally caught up to you, bud. Come on, then. Come on, come on. Let's go. That's more like how we finish. Woo. Well, 
That ought to secure us just enough to get what we need. That's perfect. Good racing, Smasher. Can't believe we had to go to extras. Oh, is it that later? Yeah, 9 11, I guess. Uh. Smasher, that rally raid truck is outrageous. That thing was quick. 40 thousand dollars! Should take over for Bob Barker on the Price is Right. You've got a chance to win this new car! I really should have done that. That would have been a good profession for me. <laughs> I don't think I have the voice for it. Should have brought your Stagia. Oh shit, I have those. I forgot I got the car pack. Aha! I need to go buy those cars real quick. Give me a second. I'm going to go break out my... I should... I forgot I had the Stagia. Shit! I could have just built them. May I join? Uh, yeah. Do you race? I didn't know you had Forza. All right, let's go colors. Ew, that's a nasty color of green. I like the maroon, though. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, my username is up at the top left of the screen, Turbo Synchro. I play on Xbox. So if you want to search me up and shoot me a friend request, I will add you and let you into the uh, race. If you become a regular around here and you hang out with us for a few streams, we get to know you, I will get you a Discord invite, and you can... Uh, Join in with the community, and you can even be in on the VCs and stuff. But I get to know people before I let them do that. Just a small bean? Who is this in my Discord? Who is this in my call? Xbox, what the hell? It's me. Are you Kitten Shop? No, it's Cookie. You changed your name. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know who this person is. You changed your picture. You changed your name. I'm like, who the hell's I in know. my Discord? I've been going from the shop. I've been going from thing to thing. Okay, that's... people confused. Gotcha. That, I was like, what the hell? Kishi, Neko, and Xbox? Okay, cool. Yeah, just shoot me a request, and once I see it, I will uh, add you in, kitten. Ah, uh, that'll be the, fun. The temptation to play whatever you're playing. What are you playing? Forza Horizon 5. Right. Should have expected that from you. Well, it's Thursday night. The new playlist dropped. That's why I said I should have expected that from you. Yep, because I actually don't play this all that much anymore. Nah, I'm on the new the console version of Valorant right now. Uh, I want to go and play some Fortnite, but I also want to play Genshin, and it's like, so I'm just trying to get everything done right now. Oh, that's a cool page. If you job. do Fortnite, let me know, and I'll join you on my computer. Okay, cool. Because uh, I could actually, I need to do some quests in uh, Reload, and I suck at Reload, so I could use all the help I can get. I'm okay at Reload, actually. Depends on the day. Oops. No! Crap. I sent a message? Ah, so you did. So like, meow, right? Yes, indeed. Where's it at? There's an exclamation point here somewhere. I know there is. Yep, there it is. Got it. Got you at it. 
be, I'm going to listen, my phone hasn't been working on Twitch, so I'm going to listen to stream while playing Valorant through the VC. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. No, don't do that. There we go. Wait, why do I have to buy this car? Well, I already got it, didn't I? I already own it. Good. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, sort by value. I have two left. I got the Sarah and the Mitsubishi Montero. Uh, why does everybody do an initial D paint job on every car? Like, why? so strange. That's actually a really good little paint job on the Sarah, though. I like that. Alright, I saw you join the game there, Kitten, so we're in now. Um, if you want to look, I'm running the playlist, so if you want to pick uh, what we want to run next, uh, I'd like to do something worth a lot of points. That way we can get through the playlist. I'm getting the cars I own right now, so... Or I got... I forgot... Oh, crap. I don't want to do that. Sort. Value. Uh, but which championship do you want to maybe run? Colors. Ooh, I like that. That's sharp. Yeah, let's run that. That's factory, and I like it. Alrighty. I'm down for anything? Okay. Let me see what's on the playlist then, and let's pick something from there. Festival playlist. Um, We have three seasonal championships. Road racing, road racing, and dirt. Hypercars S1 Rare Classics B700. Uh... Let's do a pretty sweet deal. It is B-Class Rare Classics, 700. Smasher, you good for that too? My cars, filter two, Rare Classics. Sure. Awesome. Let's run that race then. And it's a road racing series, so we need to be pretty efficient on what we use. Something good on the road. Uh, uh, what do I have? Oh, cool. I actually already have two cars. I'm already ready to go, guys. I have a choice of a couple of different cars. I have my 250 California, my Lamborghini Miura, my... No, that's a dirt car. Uh, 911 Carrera RS, my 2000 GT. Ready? Smasher, are you ready or do you need a minute still? I'm good? Awesome. I'll go start the race then. Let me see where it's at. Nope, that's the hypercars one. Must be this one. Yep. There we go. Alright, we're starting with the Marigold Sprint, it looks like. I don't know what I want to run. I'll decide when I get in here. Co-op. Convoy only. Jumping in.
There we go. What do I want to run? Taking my Mira. I don't know what you guys are bringing, but we'll find out. Oh, see you, Cookie. I guess Cookie had had enough tonight. Who is? Oh, this is a Raiden Shogun paint job on this mirror. I forgot about that. <sighs> Mira, I'm glad. Oh, 2000 GT. I'm glad I didn't take that. And then, of course, Smasher, I'm guessing, is in the old Bentley. Or whatever the hell that thing is. That looks like some shit Smasher would drive. Yep. Oh, it's a Mercedes-Benz. It's that thing. I, I know what that is now. Alright, here we go. Let's ride. Come on, little cart. Man, it's weird. With this thing being mid-engine, I really have to trail brake to set the front. Sorry, Smasher. AI hit me. Stupid Carrera. Just drove right into my rear. Forced me into you. I was not trying to hit you. Man, that Mercedes makes some power. I'm in a freaking Lamborghini and he's pulling on me. Unreal. Oh, but I handle a lot better than you do. handles better than I thought it would have, though. Especially skinny-ass tires on that thing. Come on, then. Let's go. Nice. Good race, Smasher. You as well, kitten. Uh, I'll tell you what, Smasher. You had me on speed, but I had you on handling. That was a really good even match between the two of us. That was fun. GG. Yeah, you as well. I don't have the best brakes in the world. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Even if you did, your tires wouldn't have any grip. <laughs> Oh man, that was uh, that was fun to watch though. That was fun racing. We got we got one more to do. Looks like before we win this one. All righty, here we go. Emerald Circuit. That's a track I know well. I know Smasher does too. I'm guessing Kitten does... Wow, Kitten's a higher level than both me and Smasher. Kitten, I'm sure, knows this car track well then, too. I 
I keep calling you Kitten. Do you want me to call you by something else, or is Kitten okay? I just realized I really should ask. Oh, also, pronouns if you use them, just so I can be polite. The fuck is this AI doing? This is a race. I love we have Kitten and Smasher, who both have way more power than I do, but have handling woes at the moment. And I have the handling, but I don't have any I don't have any power. The rain is especially effing with our uh handling abilities at the moment. I think the rain is affecting you guys a little more than it is me. I don't know if it's the tires or what. You guys seem to be a little slidier than I am, though. Like, I'm getting a titch of, uh on throttle oversteer, but not to the extent you guys were having it. Whoops, ow. Smasher, I'm impressed you can pilot that thing at all in these conditions. And I do believe pilot is the right word for that crazy thing. Boy, you found the grip in the end, didn't you? Huh. <sighs> Oh, I know I asked what we were racing, Kitten, but do you have a name you want me to call you other than Kitten? And you have rally tires and 557 horse? Holy crap. You were making power. I don't think I had that much power. I usually go by Kitten, Lol, and him, he. You got her. That's easy enough to remember. Uh, cool. What did I have in this car? Let me see what I had, Smasher. Uh, I had rally tires and 360 horsepower. Oh, and I was on drift tires. Those were drift tires. What? Okay. Weird. Uh, let's do the other one. S1 900 hypercars. Stock tires, 217 horse. Oh, you did really well for that then. Your car must have been crazy light. Because that should, that low on stock tires and that low horsepower, you shouldn't be anywhere near Smasher and I with more horsepower and better tires. You must have had no kind of weight in that car. 
that's amazing for that you did as well as you did with that car then. Uh-oh. My cord's stuck. There we go. Alright. What do I got? S1900. Oh. That counts. Okay. Ooh, that counts too. Hehehe. <laughs> Mm. All right, let's see what else I got here. Uh, what class? S1 hypercars. I think I know what I'm going to try to bring. Oh, on the moon, T. Stebbins. I love this song. Oh, I forgot I have this now. Nice. I gotta go modify a car real quick. I can never catch a break. I put one down and one more rises. This has to be the 15th in a row, but somehow it always surprises. What kind of killer do I gotta overthrow? Just to get a little peace and quiet. I know I'll never get away somewhere, but somehow the world will deny it. Alright, hypercar, hypercar. There we go. No, that was wrong. Filter two. Ah, got it. BRB, but I'm ready. Okay, I'll yeah, just let me know when you're back. That way we can go racing. Uh what else do I have? Hard to find something that starts that low in the hypercar class. Most of the hypercar class starts lower, like it, or higher, like S2. Ooh, I wonder if this will work. I don't think I've messed with this car yet. Sometimes I get tired of this vengeance in my eyes. I don't want to waste another day away from loving you. Okay, those work. Race. Yes, please. Ooh, that puts it all the way down fast, but I don't want that. What kind of transmission does this have? It has a 7, so I want an 8. I definitely want a race diff for 100% sure. What's my... Yeah, I want that. I'm already all-wheel drive, right? Yep. Good. Okay, I'm back. Awesome. I'm still building the car, so we're still going to be a minute here. What do I have that I can put? Maybe some valves? Yeah, I can do valves. Fuel injectors? I can do those too. Intake. Yes. Cams. Too much. Let's take that intake back out. Still too much. Valves. Back out. There we go. S1. Perfect. Good. I just need to tune my suspension and I'll be ready. That and get a paint job. Ooh, I, w I bet you this car would look really good. I'm gonna use your P. You're gonna use your P1. That's awesome. I love the P1. That's a good looking car. Smasher, let me know when you're ready as well. That way I know. Um, uh, kitten's ready. So as soon as I'm ready, I will just be up to you then. After that. All right, love that. Good. Get this thing down and dirty. 
arrow. Oh my god, the arrow's high on this car. Good. Good, good, good. Differentials. Six. Three. Eight. Four. And a bias of 70%. That should accommodate that. All I need is a paint job now. And I want to see what this car looks like in black. <laughs> I don't like boring colors, but I will freely admit that black looks good on everything. Black is the tuxedo of car colors. It's hard to go wrong with black and chrome wheels. Every car looks good black with chrome wheels. Oh, oh they're already red. Perfect. Dark window tint. Done. The Night Shredder. The new Countach looks disgusting like this. I probably could have gone blackout all the way with black rims, but I feel like the chrome is just enough of a touch to draw on. I need to tune the, the rear as too much alignment, toe, out, in, no. We'll try that. That got rid of the spin happiness. I'ma be brave, aren't you always? I don't ever think I've looked at a vehicle choice you've made and thought, oh, we picked the safe pick. You always pick some psychopathic ride to try out. Oh. Hello. Let me know when you're ready, Smasher. Kitten and I are both ready. <laughs> I am ready. All right. Here we go. Co-op, convoy only. Here we go. Who's DMing me on Discord? They're posting in my thing. Nobody in my server. That's all that matters to me right now. All right. Kuntash. I'm sorry, but the I wish they would have done the back end on this car better because the front looks so good. Hennessy Venom? Lord, you are brave. Golly. Ain't no way. This P1 has drift tires? Are you kidding? I'm on full slicks and I'm fearing for my life here. Oh boy, here we go.
Wow, the AI really screwed me. Oh my god, Smasher. How much horsepower do you have? Holy shit! Jesus! Man's taking a rocket ride! Kitten, I just ran over your wing. I tried to pick it up, but we were going too fast. Is that thing rear-wheel drive? You are a certified psychopath, dude. What the hell? Holy crap! What a ride! Oh, it's Sadie messaging me. Man, rear wheel drive rally tires, 1,479 horsepower. That's obnoxious. What engine does that even have? Is that the factory one? Uh -oh. Excuse me. 1,400 freaking horsepower. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Smasher's done. Smasher, I'll see you at the first turn. <laughs> oh my god, you could not have picked a worse track for his car right now. That's hilarious. Oops, sorry. My car washed wide on me. This is just going to be me and Smasher tag teaming second and third this whole time, isn't it? Kitten's got more power, but I can accelerate better if I can put my power down. Those drift tires are surprisingly not as much of a disadvantage as I thought they would be. Although the amount of a smoke show you're putting on is impressive. Oh, oh, sorry! Wasn't trying to hit you.
All right, come on, cart. Jeez. Smasher, that venom is ridiculous, twitching under its own grip. Jesus, dude. Now that's good hard racing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Woo. And Kitten was like right on both of our bumpers at the end of that. Woo wee. Constantly wheel spinning in second and third? I would think so. I'm amazed that thing runs and drives at all at that much power under a hood. Alright, what's up next? Festival playlist. I like to take it easy, lol. So, see, me, Smasher, and Sadie are all competitive racers in this game. Uh, so we are always pushing our absolute limits trying to drive it hard. Uh, we, we, we are a bit, we're a bit try hard, <laughs> but it's just cause we like going fast and we like making good racing. I also usually drift most of the time. Well, you race really well for somebody who drifts most of the time. He said we race a lot, but we just do it cause it's fun. Uh, we don't go crazy doing anything else. Uh, uh what else? We got C-Class Classic Rally if we want to do that next. What do we got in Classic Rally? I don't run Classic Rally very much. Ooh. Good choices here. Alright, alright. I see you. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, all the Stratos. I wish. I don't want that card. It's got too short of a wheelbase. I'm taking the 131 of Barth. I like the boxy square boy. This is a perfect car for me. You need to build one? I do too, so... Kitten, do you have one, or do you need to build one as well? I'm ready. Okay. Well, Smasher and I both have to build cars, so bear with us here a little. Uh, upgrades tuning... Custom upgrades. First things first. Do I have any... No, no body kits. But I'll make another one? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Might as well. Ooh. Yes.
all the grip, please. This is rear wheel. So no engine swaps, I'm afraid to say. Wow, this is going to be slower than hell. Just realizing how slow this race is going to be. Jesus. I'm tempted to run snow tires, honestly. Fuck it, I'm running snow tires. Why not? Just go for maximum lulls. Race brakes, yes, please. All right, good. Oh, I didn't get a clutch. Shit. Eh. Yep, definitely going to need a clutch. Which means I'm going to lose a little power somewhere, but that's fine. That'll work. I only lost two horsepower to get a better clutch shift time. That's fine with me. What is this song? I don't know this song. One more summer, Odyssey Eurobeat. This is recent. It's listed as Jessa. Huh. Interesting. I didn't even realize this song was on here. Okay. Two hundred fifty nine horsepower. I only have a hundred and sixty. I might be in trouble. We'll find out. You know what? Nah, stick to my guns. I, I trust my build. I trust my build. I was just gonna go all out power build and take all my grip out, but no, I trust my. I trust my gut. I trust my build. Alright, where's this other race start at here? Where the hell does it start? Oh, it's here. Okay. You have 138 horsepower. Okay, so Kitten and I are probably going to be a closer match for each other. Smasher probably going to be a slidey boy. 
We all ready then? Alrighty, jumping in. Okay, here we go. Finger on the pulsar. Let's see how we do. I don't know what cars you guys brought, so I'm curious to see. Fiat, Volvo, and is that a Ford? Interesting choice. My other car is 290 horsepower. Interesting. I'll be curious to see how we do here. We have three very different, well, I think two very different builds. I think Kitten and I are kind of similar, but I think Smasher is very different from us. So this will be interesting to see how this goes. And commence Smasher just driving away from both of us. Oh. I'm losing ground to Kitten, too. That's not good. This is uphill, though. I am power-challenged. I bet Kitten's car is a lot lighter than mine. Mine is a heavy, heavy boy. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, right. Snow tires. <laughs> what? I didn't miss that checkpoint. Oh, that sucks. Well, that race just didn't go very well for me.
GG. Yeah, I didn't really help you guys much there. I got, I missed the first corner, and then it glitched me saying I missed the first checkpoint. So I just kind of got stuck. I really couldn't do anything. I just, it hung me out to dry there. Kind of sucks. All right, good race there. See if I can help you guys this time. Maybe have a good race with y'all. I'm not as good at dirt racing, and when I am, I'm better at the higher levels. Slow dirt cars are kind of boring. I'm not a fan of these as much. Oh, it's this track. I know this track. A point for low HP, lol. Yeah, you know it. You did really well there. Sorry. Oh, that wasn't... Was that you? I don't know if that was you or not. Uh, yeah, I should have... Should have taken the left side there, shouldn't I? Whoa! Right, this is an all-wheel drive. I forgot. Wow, my car just sucks ass. Snow tires weren't the look. Snow tires were not the look. Should have stuck with the rallies or the off-roads. They're better on the asphalt than anywhere else. They suck in the mud. Yeah, you guys are checked out. I'm, I'm just back here holding third down. I got nothing for you. Like, I'm quicker than the AI, but not by much. My car won't bite coming out of the dirt. It's wet dirt, too. I think the mud's making it worse. Interesting. I'm better in the grass. When I'm in the grass, I actually have some traction. Isn't that interesting? Maybe I can try to play that a little bit. Not that I can catch you two, but... I'm best on the asphalt and the grass. any grass I can use during this track? Let's find out.
Man, yeah, as soon as I hit the mud, it's just a slip and slide. Come on. I mean, I left the AI for dead, so I ran really good there. You guys just ran crazy fast. Yep, good game again. That was... Snow tires were not the choice for this race, for this race set. I really thought I was going to, you know, try to cheat a little extra horsepower by going with the snows. That didn't work. Snow tires sucked. Stock tires? Ugh. But you have the horsepower to make up for it, though. I can't help but think that race series would have been a hell of a lot more fun in S1 Rally Monsters or something. Ugh. All right. What else we got now? That's 25 points. I think that's everything we can do together. Because that's four points right there. Six, eight, ten. So, yeah, that's everything we can do together, I think. Unless we... Well, we can do the... Uh, let's all build our B-class Nissan Pulsars. We can do the, uh, the PR stunts together. Even though we can't, like, actually, like, help each other, we can still do them together. Oh, cool, I have two of them now. I had off-road tires, and my front was set up for uh, drifting. That makes sense, actually. That's a smart call for that setup. That's a really smart idea to do it that way. It is right there. I thought so. Ugh. That's why I'm glad I keep tissues around here. Ugh. BRB, no problem. B class pulsars. And honestly, considering that it's all about speed and, uh, I have one that's on drags already, so. Oh, it's already over A. The hell? So that was too much just in the way of tires, brakes, and suspension. You're kidding. Oh, boy. <sighs> Race transmission, differential in case I need it.
Hey, welcome back, Sadie. Are you still racing, or it's, it's, I know it's late. But... We're getting close. Yeah, we're getting close to finishing the playlist, but we're not there yet. GPUs at 35C. Nothing going on. The icon's just not loading, probably. There you go. I was wondering, like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> the icons for, or is the game loading up? Yeah, sometimes they have a little bit of a slow day. Brain fart or whatever. It's like, oh. oh, I have a faster GPU than this. What am I doing? Yeah. Well, no different than us. We have bad days sometimes, and we're not as fast as we truly are. You know what I saw today, Soji, during my workshop? Uh, no, what? An O2 Type R. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see those very much. <sighs> right hand drive. Dang. Yeah, you really don't see those. Oh, that's imported then. That's crazy. Yep. I saw, the guy was like... I was just, I was just there for like... Probably like 37 because like, I was looking like, is that type R? And the guy that says, yeah, this is type R. Heck yeah. I don't like that. All right, where is this jump at? So we're trying to, what it's trying to do is actually put in the Mugen parts. That was, that's what they ordered in Amazon. Oh, that's cool. You can get Mugen parts on Amazon now? It was a private dealer. You have to oh, research okay. a really specific quota. Volkswagen SP2 1976. Correct. Is there, does that have a racing breed? Volkswagen SP2 is a sports car developed by Volkswagen of Brazil. 689. So it's, I a, be able to do that. So it's a Brazilian car, okay. Um, what is Volkswagen 3, Sao Paulo, where the car was built. Smasher says it program. can have a 2.6 liter racing flat 4 in it. I know, it could have a Porsche engine. Let me see here. What's the, uh... Hello? Longitudinal rear engine rear wheel drive. What's the front thing? Hang on. Hey, Smasher, can you go to Forza Vista real quick and look at the, look at the front of the car? Does it an engine in it or is it just a cooler? weird quick just... question what's the Volkswagen type 3 uh, I don't know let me see here it's a it's a sedan it's a family sedan it's also not rear wheel drive huh This thing only has 65 horsepower. Fair enough. Huh. Well, I mean, it does have the same engine. What the heck is this? 
Oh, oh, okay. So, there was a special Filipino version of the Volkswagen SP2 oh. called the uh, Volkswagen. Hear me out. This is this is weird, right? This is weird. Daimler Group, Toro. That is weird. Uh, Volkswagen worked with Mercedes to make a Toro. Huh. And, um, and also, hear me out too. This car was the prototype for the book, the for the Porsche 924. Really? Yep. Would not have guessed that. Hmm, what's this? There was also a upbringing back in the early 2010s. Smashers, called the, uh... Smasher says look in the Discord. Huh? Okay. Did you post, oh, that's what's it. He posted what's in the front. Okay. Nothing. The tire. Which Discord did you put it? It's in my general. It's just the tire? That's it. Just the tire. It makes a lot of trunk space. Huh. Right on their part. Rapond Concept SP2. Hey, yo! Yo, this concept fucks. With the US Bank Cash Plus Visa signature card, okay, imagine this. They remade the Volkswagen SP2. This is the closest that they, we, we, we're gonna get. Supposedly, the plan is to have a hydrogen layout flat six. Interesting. All right. Yeah. And this is defunded, obviously, because, well, Volkswagen's Corpo is aiming for something else. Like trying to Here, cheat, propose. like trying to cheat on their diesel emissions some more? No, no. just pushing, pu pushing on electricity. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the, here's, here's what the concept looks like. It's on cars and bikes. Interesting. So oh. this does have a sort of pseudo racing pedigree. And I don't mind the look but of that. But not a lot. The only problem is, is that it's a Volkswagen, so that means it's got German engineering. So it's going to be a pat bastard to work on. You just finished all of them already? Holy crap. I just got my car built. Uh, I was going to say I wanted to get the Vanquish 17. But clearly that's not gonna happen. Why not? Well, because you're almost done. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already, I'm on, the, I'm on the game right now, but I don't wanna, you know. I, I don't can still wanna... help you. Right. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. I just found something interesting. Uh, Which is? you know what the, you know what the predecessor of this thing was? No, what? Volkswagen Type 14, the Carmen Ghia. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Wouldn't have guessed that. And then it became the Porsche 914, and then it became the Porsche 924. Huh. And then the SP2 went the same path. Basically, the SP2 and the 914 merged together and became the 924. Surprising. Surprising how cars evolved that way, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Um, if, if you're still game, I'll definitely I'll definitely still be with you, but you know. Absolutely. Alright, let's see here. 
What's the uh, what's the prior requirements? B class Nissan or Datsun. It is it is that. on it's uh, street racing. It's parsed yeah, okay. together, called got, it good, didn't tune it. Nice. I, I made it. I made the mistake of tuning mine. I just did it the wrong way. It's a street race, right? Uh, correct. Yes. All right, I got it. Uh, let's see what I got. Can't go wrong with the S13, but that's what I, I did. And I will tell you, the first track is high speed. The next two are definitely more technical. Well, all start is. It's funny, you got the street, street spec pulsar and the race spec pulsar. Yeah. You almost need them. Oh. Um. So, gee, have, have you seen the... <laughs> have you seen the, uh, what do you call it? The the reel for Gran Turismo lately. The what? So the newest update for Gran Turismo apparently had some physics bugs. Okay. Uh, so it, the funniest part is it it's all in a course called Eger Norwin, right? Okay. And uh, the problem is when cars spawn on that track. All right, when cars spawn on that track, uh -huh. it was, uh, it becomes bouncy at first, right? It's okay. bouncy. Yeah. And then your car just randomly flings to space. Oh. <laughs> well, that makes for interesting times. So, no, yeah, no the course is unraceable. That's how bad it is. Wow. Uh, for a DLC track, it is unraceable. Huh. Yeah, you definitely won't see that very often. No, you won't. Hilarity ensues when people try to race on it, though. Oh, I bet. It'd be hilarious to watch. It'd be terrible to try to drive on, though. Alright. Ding, ding, ding. Show me money, money, money. And one more time. Money, money, and a silver out of Diberti. Oh, it's 150 grand. Done. So bad. Oh, and I yeah, sold it for 150k, so, so I'll take it. Yeah. I was gonna say, like that's still that's still a thing. Well, and I spent twenty million on a car, so I'm I uh, last, I don't remember what it was, it was last time I played, so I'm trying to get my money back now. What did you spend twenty million on? I don't remember. That's how bad it is, huh? Uh, it really wasn't of note. <laughs> really, genuinely wasn't. Yikes. Yeah, it was, it's, it's how inconsequential it was at this point. I mean, really, you have... You still have over 300 million. It's not like it's gonna matter. 280 now, but whatever. It's like, I don't care. Um, what the hell? You know, it, it, it's still... It's still... It still confuses me how people want to e-bag for money in Forza when it's that easy to make cash. Like, yeah, it's, finish your weeklies. It's not, yeah, it's not hard. It's just knowing what to sell and when. Got the second car on the list? We'll finish that too. Damn, guys. Pretty much, yeah. They said the other two are technical, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Making sure. Mm. That was great. This is jank. This is jank as all hell, but oh. Is there a certain gear restriction or no? No, just any Nissan or Datsun. 
um, that are uh, any Nissan Datsun B class. That's all it is. Okay. Um, you send me an invite. I can, yeah. As soon as I'm able to here. Okay, that's that one. All right. 69 Playa Azul. Where's Playa Azul? Oh, I know where that's at. It's right at the entrance to the house. Ow. Ow. My fingers. Ow. So this is the right spot. Good. I'm doing the photo challenge real quick. Then I can be done with my playlist. I'll just have to run my laps uh, next week and I'll be good. I'll get everything. And all I'm missing is the Emery, which I don't even really care about that much. I just need to catch up because I forgot about the... Uh... Oh, and all it is is the, it's just the Deberti design, so I don't care. I already have that car. Uh, the one don't I really... The, don't, I was going to say, don't care about the Emery. Use this Emery to actually win the 8 class in the <laughs> in the first hill climb. <laughs> True. There's that. Well, I care about getting the new cars. The new MX-5, the, the BRZ, the SP-2, the Thing. Oh, yeah, the Volkswagen Thing is actually pretty hype. Yeah, the Scout. No, it's not a scout. It's a thing. No, no. There's a scout that's coming in in uh, the last week as well. There's an international scout. No. Wait. Yeah, it's one of the rewards. It's not a playlist reward. It's a it's a race reward. All the way over on going international spring seasonal championship. Reward international Why scout you, eight eight hundred A. I thought you could buy that. I thought you could buy that. I don't think so. You can buy that. Can you? Because that's sort of that's what I've been using for cross country rivals. Auto show. Oh. Yeah, never mind. It's an auto show car. That's forty thousand credits. I'm saying. Bruh. Really. Ooh, what a reward. Still one of the best off-road cars. So I'm as well get it for free than 40k, right? That's fair, I suppose. But it's like it's 40k, it's not that much in this game. Uh I need a upgrade. Yeah, let me get my Mustang out real quick so I can knock out this photo challenge and then I'll be done. Oh, I didn't know that they completed the weekly challenge for the Ferrari Dino today. Nice. So I got 40 points for the first week. I like that. Can't wait for another BRZ. BRZs are usually pretty good cars. I won't ever own one in real life because I refuse to work on a boxer motor. That I, I won't own a boxer engine. I don't like working on them and I don't want to own one. I never raced with Kishi Neko in a while. Oh, you know Kishi Neko? No, we, we've been racing with we've been racing with them for the past few days. Also, this do they go by she her or they them? It's he, uh, he him. You've been racing because they just followed me today. I know we met somewhere before. 
I have. Do you know Aurora de Mercedes by chance? Are you sure that wasn't somebody else, Sadie? Oh. I know Kishi. Question, Kishi Neko. Uh, do you follow... Do you follow Nilo? I think you follow Nilo, right? Nilo or MT? Was Nilo? MT. M oh, there you go. That explains it. Yeah, it hop into MT streams and I usually see them racing together, so. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if you're a uh, if you're a friend of MT Racer, that makes me that I already know you way better knowing you're friends with MT Racer. MT's a great guy. MT's chill. Oh yeah, super nice fella. Because I didn't know who this uh, who Kitten is or was. I didn't know when they joined. They were a new person to me. Knowing they're friends with MT, shit, that makes I'm way more comfortable knowing the knowing that. There's also uh I'm usually in last place start. drifting, lol. <laughs> Fair enough. No, don't worry, you're no, don't worry, you're like you're like uh you're like Nilo. Don't worry. Alright. Sadie, are you, you ready you for the are... are you ready for the yeah, trial, I'm, I'm, I assume? I'm, I'm being dude, I'm being I've been being chilling with this pulsar, bro. You're ready then? Yeah. I've been All right. chilling with this pulsar. Go Kitten, ahead, Smasher, you guys good to run the trial again? Help Sadie out, knock it out. We all good to run it? Yeah, Smasher, you good? Hopefully. Yeah, you go for like a a lowered setting, mild street tune, barely hanging on. Also, how many minutes? About a minute. Yeah, awesome. Give me a ten second warning, okay? So you got yeah. her. Yeah, I'm, I'm like looking uh, looking at something on my Twitter. I think this is the car I'm using. Twitter. You mean, don't you mean X? No, it's fucking Twitter. Shut up. Oh, no, it's the one with off-road tires. Did someone just make a hearse out of the Mustang Mach-E? Well, it wants to kill... Brother in it about kills me every time I have to look at it, so that would be about right. Ten seconds. Got it. So apparently, uh, launch. Queso. Queso apparently um, knows how to do fashion design. Really. Yeah. The guy who never wears anything but a big sweatshirt? Yes. With the hood up he half the time? A, he has some for some godforsaken reason has taste for taste for aesthetics. Fair enough. I I wouldn't have expected that coming from a guy who wears sweatshirts all the time. Like that just you'd think that wouldn't be his first choice, but fair enough, I guess. Yes, you never know somebody. It's such a strange thing to find out. He apparently designed... Oh, unable to join session. Uh-oh. No. Uh, just exit out of the room. And restart the time. I'm stuck. I can't. I'm stuck in... No, I said ex yeah, exit out of the room if you can. Oh, wait. What if I... I got an idea. What? I just restarted the game. No, I was gonna say you could actually just. Well, that should not let you pause. 
No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Pa I was stuck waiting to load into the lobby. I was still sitting in Mexico somewhere. So I just rebooted the game instead. That should disband the convoy, which it was going to do anyways. And then I can just reband the convoy together real quick and we're good to go. Uh, Excuse me. Why? Wait, is this it just TV started? Again? Wait, you guys are still in? I bailed. Sadie didn't make it, so I jumped out. Sadie got kicked, so I jumped out of the thing. Sadie, make sure you, uh, well, no, you, I know you cold started your game today. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing DTM trying to hammer hit limits. It just looks hilarious. It's like they're hammering tape on the ground. Huh. Uh. Context. Uh, here, let me just share the tweet. Um, I'm gonna put this in cars and bikes wow, just for a little giggle. We left? Okay, cool. I'll reband the convoy together as soon as you guys let me know when you're back in Mexico and open world, and I will add you back in. Give me a sec, gonna make another car? No problem. In the meantime, I'll band you all back together in my convoy. Oh, you guys are already there. You guys are still in convoy. I'm just rejoining now. Someone, uh... Someone... Oh, wait. You turned on my convoy. Yeah. Okay. You guys are still in uh, convoy, and you had been promoted to leader, so I just jumped in with you guys. Okay, are they still in my convoy? Yeah, all four of us are. They ju they left the uh, trial and they ju uh, to jump, and their kitten's now making a new car. And I don't know what Smasher's doing, but kitten's making a new car. Looks like it. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, I'm not gonna enter the championship then until we're done this. Uh, but uh, so. There was a GR, uh, GR Greben Yaris, you know, the rally spec. Um, there was a video of it tumbling down a mountain. Really? And I was saying to, I, I was saying to myself, thank goodness for, uh, Rally 1, Rally Division 1, because... If this was back in Group B, these guys are fucking dead. This is true. Because I see the in-camp video while those two are tumbling down the mountain. They're just being chilling while it's rolling around. Yeah, lucky for that. Yeah, no, the monocoques have been way improved. Someone's playing Zenless... Zone Zero on CRT television. Why? Why not? I suppose. I just... So, uh... The... Official Corvette CR1 has been revealed. Okay. Horsepower it has. No idea. What? 800? Upper. It's not a thousand, is it? 1064. Jesus. See the powertrain, because I'm reading on road and track. Because it got revealed today. I want to see a Kishi, picture. You okay? Are uh, you ready? Yeah, every, let everybody post in my chat when they're ready. That way we can get going. Oh. Uh, crap. so... Yeah. yeah. So, apparently... This thing is not gonna sell for 
1.2 million dollars because it, it it's not a it, it's aiming it's aiming for a lower uh, conquest, which is the SF90 Stradale and the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Okay. The uh, price point for this thing at base is two hundred and fifty thousand oh, dollars. Using damn. an LT7, using an LT7 V8. Same block displacement as the LT6 found in the Z06, with an overall project. And this is planned at the start. Both engines were developed in parallel. Wow. Hilariously enough. Oh, it's a twin turbo uh, V8 now. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. This thing is first a, factory uh, turbocharged Corvette in history. Yep. Wow. This thing is by far. I think the GTD would compete against this. Twelve hundred pounds of downforce. Hell yes. It's this thing is it's a bad ass. From, Welcome in, it's Smasher. A a track weapon made to be a track weapon. Also, there's a convertible option. Golly. Oh man, you, 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 you. Ba these guys basically ate and left zero crumbs. That's crazy. It's it's a, it's a ten second car from the factory. What? Yep. 10 second car for the factory and what fucking pushing at least what 1.9 g's i bet That's... you there was a nurburgring time for this Ooh. i bet you 100 i'm ready by the way i'm ready as well uh kishi ready yeah kishi uh they're ready? i believe so they're sitting here with me so kitten you ready He's parked up with me here, so I'm going to say that's a yes. So this thing is also... Ready, yep. What a, yeah, sporting what a... Normally what a coded seg tires have. Pilot Sport Cup 2R. Wow. So, big tire. Or big, yeah, big grip then. Of course, big it's going to need it. Big, big grip, big wing... Hey, you trying to race? Told you. Corvette ate right, and left right. zero crumbs hey, today. Me, me. Hong Kong. <laughs> hey, you no, trying no, to race? No, no. Hey, you trying to race? Hey, you You're using the ugly color, yes. And I'm using what's I left know. of an old drift missile that's been converted into a race car. Hey, man. So long as it does the job, right? <laughs> well, my car may or may not have a... Uh, uh, my car may or may not have a history to it. Are we going racing, Sadie, or...? It still says finding the car. Oh, okay. It's going to take a while. Oh, okay, that's a me. Why. What? Is it me, or, like... Like, did they... And uh, the physics on the game, because like when you're on a wet road, it, it shows like a wet trail now. It's been like that for me. And uh, I never saw it before. Probably updated your Xbox card. Uh, well, I'm on PC, you know. <laughs> oh. I'll probably update your Nvidia firmware. So why is it stuck on finding the trial? I don't know. I don't want to hold you guys. So. Game, hello? If you can't seriously find two people? There we go. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out my, I'm gonna bring out my station wagon. Stage here. Okay. 
Yes. <clears throat> the four speed manual. Oh, yeah, apparently boy. that's the. That's what it is. It's four speed. I like how they got the GTR front, but they couldn't get the GTR back. No, that's that's actually a thing in Japan. Uh, it's an actual kit conversion. Uh, yeah. Just I, front, I only have thing. I only have one thing to say about my car. That's my man, Ryan Cooper. <laughs> I love this car. Kitten says he has six stages. The hell? Are you going to store that? Are you going to store all that? For sale? I don't know. You're hustling, man. You're hustling, hustling. I think in-game. Oh, I don't no. think he has them in real life. No, no, no. Uh, I thought, okay. I, they're, I thought they're DLC, but... Uh, not DLC. I thought they're weeklies. No, they're DLCs. They're DLCs, so you can't even sell them anyways. <laughs> I have two stages. I have one now. But I don't want to run a stage yet. I go Smasher on his power trip. I may not have a, a V8 in mind. Of course. I have stock engine. There's two V8s with, with this, by the way. There's the LS. Come on, your left, kitten! Then we all went wide. It's faster! Also, did it really take a minute and a half to find one person? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, it did. Wow. We're all gonna carry him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have the handling. You are 32! I'm gonna use you as a wall! <laughs> I tried to go wide with my rally tires, it didn't work. Uh, you have to be very smart to do that in here, in this track in particular. Whoa! Oh, you... That was lag, okay. It looked like you wrecked, Sadie. Sorry. No, you're good. I just thought you wrecked, and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, and then you were back on track, so it was fine. Now I really wrecked. No! Shit. Yeah. F to pay respects. Trying to see how fast this car really goes. Yep. I am gonna be dead last. I am going to be dead last. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I forgot I can't turn. Alright. Hey, game, could you finish your rewind, please? Thanks. I just like the hypercar incident. <laughs> All right. Well, I hey, couldn't. At least I'm ahead of first. Well, I couldn't keep up with Smasher's bajillion horsepower, but I got second. I'm happy with that. You got second because of the fact that I had to miss a checkpoint. Oh, I was right on am your heels. Am I actually? Yeah. I was right on your heels. Uh, we would have been neck and neck. Yeah, okay, I'm actually getting know. a DNF. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> wow. The rare time that I DNF. <laughs> but at least you don't see that very often. Yeah, look, you yeah, DNF'd and you still got points. <laughs> also, I got the mine version. Mine? Mine? You know, mine? Like... Mine? 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 No, you don't get the joke, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you never and... played Gran Turismo. No, I haven't. Kitten says yeah. he needs more horsepower to move that wagon. <laughs> Fair. You, I think you, I have like you, you have, five. You have a Skyline I I sick you could go for the RB twenty six instead instead of the RB twenty five. I think I have the uh I think I have like five hundred some horsepower. 
Well, are they useful in this track? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> whoever gets to the whoever gets to the roundabout, punch the hole in the guardrail for the rest of us. Yeah, please, Smasher, you do that. All right. I don't know. I beat Smasher on this la well, the last time we raced this, but he was in his rally raid truck then. I don't know if I can do it with Astagia. Up to there is one train to the left side of the track. Be careful. Yeah, luckily I can corner pretty sharp. Except I'm that one time. blinded by my own brake lights and I can't see them. That <laughs> well. It's this tree right here. That always gets me. Oh my god, why is it so close to the drag? Why is it so close to the track? Why did the chicken cross the road? I'm getting to the other side. Oh, I thought it was because there was K I thought it was because it was on the same side of the street as KFC. It's trying to get away. Oh, I don't have brakes. Oh. Uh, okay, we're good. Oh. My social <laughs> I swear to Jesus. These guys are giving me a heart attack and a half. What happened to that? What happened to you, PP? Ah, uh, missed a checkpoint at the start of the race. Okay. Since they're not in VC, I'll answer for them. I was around when it happened. I've since made my way forward from there, but that was what was happening while I was there. I'm in third gear, going I'm about in... like a Ford GT gearing. I'm f I'm in fifth, and I'm just holding it flat. I don't have to lift anywhere right now. I finally have to lift. Shit, too wide, too wide. Fuck tree. Oh, you both went wide. <laughs> oh, oh no. They might have to do the third race. Fuck. I will clear it away for you. Huh? Hey, I don't. will say nay. I cleared it, but I don't think it. I don't think it's gonna help. We're about to find out. Nay. It didn't clear on mine! What the hell? Well, I, I, went through I, I, I went through it just to clear it out on yours. It didn't work! I still had to cut my own guardrail. Oh, uh, bruh. Yeah, but I'm all over fifth place right now. I should be able to get all of them. The last sharp corner. Maybe yep. I have to do the last race. <laughs> we might have to go round three again. No! We say nay! Nay, I say nay! Oh. Alright. Now if, uh... We refuse to die. We refuse to die here. Bang, bang. <laughs> Barely. I really over... Points. Sadie and I both made the same mistake. Uh, I thought, I thought, I, I thought I was like, you know, like... I thought I could gauge that, and then I forgot, like, oh, that thing requires a lot of braking. Well, the first time I went through that corner, I was chasing somebody else, and I had to four-wheel drift it through the corner, and it must have scrubbed enough speed. That time, I had nobody in my way, and I just straight overcooked it. Uh, I'm out of my game today. Then again, I'm fucking tired. Uh, let's see here. Feel the hype. What's this, oh. though? Oh, hypercars S one. <laughs> yep. S. Uh, do you still got time, or do you want me? Do you, do you guys want to leave? Because I could just probably do this myself. Yeah. I'll do I'll stick around again. I'll stick around and go again. Okay. And then uh, the other one is a. Uh, it's how rare is it? Rare plastic speed class. Yep. Indeed, it is. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So S one hypercars, I guess. I know I've already got my car ready to go, so... 
DC, is your car ready? We already all ran these, so we've all got our cars okay. ready to go. Okay. I am going to leave my stream in your hands for a minute. i got to go pee. I'll be back in a minute. It's already, it's already Sess and Join. Oh, in that case, I'll wait. I didn't realize sorry. you... No, you're fine. I can hold it. I don't have to go that bad. I just thought you'd have to build a car, so... I was like, no, well... No, no, no. I got, I got S1 hypercars. I got S1 hypercars all day. It's just, you know... Oh. And I can't pause for some odd reason. Well, yeah, because we're joining a session. I was still song playing. I have my Eurobeat playlist playing on my stream right now. There you go. There we go. Hey. Time to bring out. Time to bring out. Time to be brave again. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus, that that car is unbelievably fast once it grips. Which one? Oh, you How just you find out. Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> I think the cars we pick are gonna surprise you. Okay. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> and yes, I got this thing under nine hundred. Oh God! I mean, Kitten's P1 is rear is a rear wheel driving on drift tires. I got I got a CCGT or a CC8 is. I'm not real. It's not really that for competitives. It's just there for. I think it is for comps, but I, I rarely use it. This is just as try hard as I can make the new Countach. That is obnoxious, Smasher. What the hell? Like, is, is that like drag slicks? No, it's rally tires. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. The fact he can even tame that thing is ridiculous. I'm on the roll drive. Hi. Hi. Bye. <laughs> it's gonna be high again, just letting you know that. I'm going to 20. Hey, Sharp corner. Oh. Oh. Oops, sorry. I had a feeling you'll be on my inside. Whoa! Whoa, 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 bumpy! I don't like bumpy. Bumpy hurts me. gonna catch up to me in the last segment. Yeah, you are. On your left. Yep, yep. It looks like he has some kind of cheaty speed mod with that car. It really does. Yeah, it does. But hey, that's, uh, that's the, uh, that's a stupid part about the Hennessy Venom with the rally tires. That is ridiculous. I love you two made me and Kitten look slow, and we beat the AI by a full eight seconds. <laughs> or by a full four, four, five, four seconds. You beat him by eight. That's ridiculous. 
Yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, yeah. I'm so rusty, I swear. I haven't been yeah. playing this game for a while. Oh, I'm... No. Miss, I'm so rusty over here comes in second to a man who's literally riding the Saturn V rocket. Yeah, <laughs> and then this track... Bullshit. Yeah, the good news is, Sadie, <laughs> now he's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Fucking Horizon Mexico circuit, and somehow we went bumper to bumper photo finish on this last time we raced it. Which I don't understand how. I'm just gonna use the AI as walls. You kinda have to with that thing. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, God. I don't like this. Oh, boy. I don't like this at all. Three wide on that turn. Yeah, that was... That <laughs> was... That was a bit... Sketch. Sorry. Oh, you're good. AI. You break slightly faster than I thought you would. I was trying to pace you, and I just... You braked a little sooner than I thought. This doesn't really have that ideal of a brakes on stock, you know. I noticed it slows a bit, uh, odd. And... There goes my spoiler. Wait, yeah. Oh, God! Holy shit! Good news is I'm now will have top end. Bad news is I still have the same power that I had. Oh no. Yeah, which is about a fifth of what Smasher has. Uh. Damn it, this give me like Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Hard pull off is either one. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, I'm turning. Oh, good apex. God. Going to like 75 on that turn right there. Ah, I got brave and it slipped. Damn it. Jesus, dude! Oh, what the hell is that thing powered by? That is ridiculous in every sense of the word. Not this time, Not sunshine. <laughs> no photo finish no for you. <laughs> Jesus, that was a good race, though. I was trying to over under Sadie in the hairpin up there, and I just, I went to, I went outside, I hit the brakes trying to cut in, and the whole car just four wheel drifted. I'm like, shit, there it went. I didn't have a grip, not from that angle. No, I, had to, I had to, ra I had to basically rally. Um, rally you were drifting the whole time. Left. You still went really fast. You got fourth despite that. I got oh, a son. I got a son. That is the most. That is the most jank setup. This is the most jank setup I've had for the CC, uh, CC8S. Yeah, seven, eight gears. I have eight gears in this thing. Oh! So no wonder why it was gripping really hard. You know how much rear downforce this, this thing had? How much? A thousand eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't know they could put that high, but... Yeah, I just I just went all grip on this thing. I was supposed to do comps, but not all grip. I didn't know that I was all grip. 
Uh, let's see. Finally, is a rare classics, right? Hey, you trying to race? Oh no, not rare classics. Is it? Yeah, it's classic rally. Okay, classic rally C plus, and then rare classics. All right. You you are you are obviously you're all already ready, right? Let me see if I have a classic rally set up. Pretty much, yeah. Whoa. What did I have what? for classic rally? I don't even Get remember what bar. I ran. Get that bar. Oh, wait, no, my car sucks for that. I need a different car. Hang on. I'm gonna pick the Mini. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the Mini? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Put a Hellcat motor in it? I mean, I have 320 for <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Or do I just do something that's more... Like rally oriented. They like the Alpine or the uh, Renault Eight Forty. Hmm. I'm taking that shush. All right, I think the Fulvia then. And keep me, keep my Gord, leave me my Gordini alone. That <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, but I gotta, I gotta detune this thing because it's a B class. Uh, so stop. Right, I'm just changing tires. That's all I'm doing. You're just changing tires on yours. Yeah. Well, I I tried to do it the first time with snow tires. I thought I was going to have a cheeky little opportunity. It did not work. So, all right. I Again, before we start, I'm going to go pee now. I'll be back in a minute. All right. <laughs> yep. Be back in a sec. I peed. <laughs> now that's that's uh that's a little strike on my own day today, so I, I really didn't like today's work day for that, those, for that reason. That's fair. That's fair. Whoa! Sorry, kitten. My bad. I only have 160, but this time I have grip. 169. Uh, I have a, a VTEC in my car, so. <laughs> of course. Oh, wait, I have to decrease my power. Okay, give me one. More than that. Zero to 60 time. I don't like that, but. Uh, what can you do when it's a C class dirt race? I don't wish I would be so much. Oh, reminds me of Forza Horizon 4, or these kind of races. They just yep. run stock tires. You ran stock tires on yours? Yeah. <clears throat> I have to. I can't even put. I can't even put anything on. I can't put rally tires. I can't put 
straight tires. I can't do any of that. <laughs> it goes over. Can you put vintage white walls on this one? Why would I put vintage white walls on this one? It has a little bit of grip, actually. See how this thing goes. It's a good video on Enterprise on my Enterprise the Suburban channel on this Discord if you guys want to check it out. Whoops. Jesus, that thing's big. Holy crap. Yep. I am definitely gonna be sussy or sussy right now. Definitely may or may not be sussy right now. Hello my fellow Italian, how are you? Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, it's the legendary 2,999 2, rank. 2,999 rank. <laughs> yeah, when I see people like those, I'd be like, Bro, what the hell, man? How many modded accounts do you ha do you own? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not gonna work. Cause that has. Hmm. Work rip, maybe. Well, you would do the order of crime thing, but there's not very many R if you can choose. Yeah, I was trying to just base off a lot of things. Alright, this works. Hopefully oh, that's what can a lot better on that. 205 horsepower. Okay. That's that's fine. Hopefully oh, that's what can dodge from the viper and the charger. From the dodge and Chevrolet? Chevrolet? Yeah. Dodge. Seven versus dodge? I might be that. A mud, I a just mud, can't wait yeah. till the next season, though. Or two seasons after this, because then I can celebrate my birthday sometime. I'm gonna miss a couple of weeks of a season because I'm gonna be gone for vacation during some of that time. Do what? Hey, even if I did, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have an. In, I wouldn't have a way to hook it up to internet or a TV or anything. I'll be on vacation. I'm not gonna have internet or. I'll have like my phone, but that won't be enough to power up an Xbox or anything. And I'm not gonna have a TV or a power source really. Most of that time, I'll be on the road. Alright, and this is the most jank setup that I have. Hopefully it works. Uh, let's see. Where are you, you silly rally? You silly, silly rally? Uh, it is, um, right by the... Hey, can you guys see my light-up wheels that change color? Where's the rally at? It's, uh, right by the, uh, Baja. Do you guys see this? Yeah? Yeah, I see it. How can you have off-road hot race tires in there? What the heck? You must have, like, stock engine. 160 horsepower. 
mean, it's enough I can do this. Yeah, that is stock engine. <laughs> hey, it's good enough to do donuts. You gotta remember, last time I tried to do this on uh, snow tires, and I got my ass handed to me. But now I know. I know what I did wrong. I have the most jank setup possible. I am probably gonna lose, but yeah. You probably know that. I'm, I'm probably gonna lose. I'm front wheel drive. I'm front wheel drive. Okay, but you're in. Oh, okay, wait, no, you're. Wait. Wait, where is it? I thought your engine was in the back. I don't know, that's the, uh. That's the other one. Kitten's Escort only has 138 horse. But it's oh, enough it's because it's a rally pedigree. It's <laughs> uh, starting. You and your goofy ah right. Gordini. Oh, I'm wheel spinning. Well, it's wet, and you have no grip, so no surprise there. V-Tech, uh, maybe the V-Tech hits it. Woo! Ow. Oh. <laughs> I love V-Tech kicks in, says the man driving something Italian. Oh, this thing is pretty good bridge. For... It's a rally car! It's a rally car smasher. It obviously has good brakes from factory. Okay, but not the Volvo. The Volvo is literally a brick. The Volvo, I'll say, the Volvo needs a, a good brake system because you're stopping a small manor house. Yep. Yeah. Oops, right. sorry. I got hit by AI multiple times. Hey, smasher. Hey, hey, look. Oh, you're on my left. What the, you're... I know right what I'm mind. doing, Smasher. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, Smasher. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. No, get turned. Oh, ow. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna fail you today, Smasher. <laughs> God. That was stupid. That was the stupidest challenge that I've been doing since Forza Horizon 4. Oh. Ow. Too wide, Junior. Did you know that I'm memeing around, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. I genuinely thought I was catching you. Because I'm driving this thing as hard as it will go. I am so try hard right now, it's not even funny. Oh, I almost missed that. Sorry, Kishi. That would have been pretty bad. And I would have cried. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, that's what she said. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 hey. it went right on. Rude. Rude. Gladys Drake. Rude. The meat that gets in. Yeah, I don't have anything for your power, I hate to say. V Tech! I don't have V Tech. I just have a tiny little I4 engine. I oh god. <laughs> I don't even know what car I don't even know what engine this car has. I just picked it I just picked it because it was the boxiest one that I, I I saw and I liked the way it looked. I like square cars. One of my favorite cars of all time is the 80s El Caminos. That we don't have. It's we in this game. 80s, but... No, we have 70s, but not 80s. The 80s El Camino is in this game. No, we have the 70s. Give us the one from Not El Camino, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo, my bad. I was, I, was like, I was like, give us the one for Grand Turismo 6. That was a square ass El Camino. I started last with you! Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Although I do like the 80s El Caminos too. 80s Elcos are nice. 
I have a guy who comes into our shop who has one. He's daily driven it every day since he bought it new in the 80s. And it's an old rust bucket now, but I'll tell you what, that thing cool as hell. Still carbureted, it runs like a million bucks. Alright. Hey, AI. Yeah, I got fucked by that. Gold. Alright. Gold? Jesus Christ, I'm telling myself to go. It's not going. Oh, I'm turning wide. Way too wide. Missed the checkpoint. I'm done. No. Yeah, this thing can't. This thing can't drift. Dirt drift at all. So I have to really grip it on drift. Well, it's got no horsepower. What C do you mean, no horsepower? It's C class. We don't have that much horsepower. I have 203 horsepower in this thing. Also, when your front wheel drives, what's drifting? Yeah. True. So everything just loses at the, uh... Sorry, sorry, sorry! Can't control it! Oh! Um. oh. What? What the hell happened there? A tree. Oh, I'm gonna hit a, That's oh, I'm gonna hit a, oh, I'm gonna hit a tree. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was like, uh, can I cut this? No, I can't. Can't <laughs> touch it up real quick. I'm really trying to drive the piss out of this car. I'm not. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so funny. It doesn't handle like the way a rally car oh. should be. Hey. Torque, steering, torque steering. I love when I love when I turn right, but it goes left. Blame Doc Hudson. He made it popular. I swear to God, if I'm finishing fifth again, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Got to hear futuristic. Turn. Oh, what? Oh my God! You saw that, right? Yeah, kitten's out of there. Yeah. I think uh, kitten's found a, uh, found a, his calling. Yeah. D class rallies. Who do? You can't put rally tires on this car. Just like uh, just like fucking Chilky out of all people knows how to race A class cross country and actually beat us with it. Who does? Uh, there's this guy in our Discord server. His name is Pilky Plays. Yeah, I've seen Ooh, that name around. Yeah. I don't know him very well, but I've seen yeah. that name. So, he's infamous for just power tuning everything. But for some odd reason, this asshole knows how to knows how to make a good cross country vehicle. Huh? Bar none. It doesn't even matter if it's meta. He knows how to do it. Weird talent, but I mean, hey, if it works for you. No, no, for me. Dirt. <laughs> no, you're just here because you're just here because you. Uh, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this and in in the most polite way possible. All right. Uh. I'm gonna. I swear to God, I'm gonna get canceled for this. Special Ed Smasher. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, good, good race, kitten. You raced the hell out of that. That was clean as hell. Ow! You know, my Smasher butt. knows how to race like hell on PvP. He yeah. knows how to race like hell. <sighs> and he does. I will give you that. Oh, like, come yeah, on, that one's gonna do it for me, I'm afraid. I'm I've been on for four and a half hours and I'm tired, so Okay. Uh yeah, that'll also do it for me as well. Yeah. Alright. I'll see you I've, guys then. I've been up since eight AM. Seven for me. Six. I've been up since six. Yeah, you're an hour behind us though, mm -hmm. so you're on my time frame at seven. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'll see you guys. That's no problem. Have a good I'll night. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I usually drift everything S1 Rally with my LFA. Mm -hmm. That's badass. Hell yeah. Well, Kitten, thank you for playing. I am going to uh, DM you a link to the Discord. You've been super cool and everything. And knowing that you know MT, I know you're trustworthy, so I will go ahead. Actually, while I'm, do while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to do it right now. Uh... All right. Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to do it real quick. 8.28 p.m. You must be West Coast then, huh? Oh. Huh. Strange. Seattle. Ah, okay. I had a hunch it was something like that. That was right, West Coast. Alrighty. Hey, let me get you a whisper to the Discord here. Why can I not whisper you? Oh. I don't know, because we're... I don't know. Strange. See if I can. Where's it at? There you are. Feast. Go. Oh, just sent you a Discord invite. It's good for one day or one use, whatever comes first. So sent it your way, and thank you for playing with us. It's been a pleasure. Oh, and I think you, it was you just joining, wasn't it? New Unreads. Yep, welcome in. Thank you much for playing along. I am going to go ahead and call it a night, I'm afraid. I am tired. Um, Who's on right now? Uh... Start watching, that's fine. Uh, she's on with a bunch of other people tonight. 2v8 is here? Whoa, interesting. Uh, looks like Viri's on her own tonight, so that'll be a good person to raid. I'm going to send you guys all off to Viri. Raid, right. oops. There is an underscore. Okay. All right. Raid is queued up. I'm going to send you guys all off to my friend Viri. She's super nice and super fun. So thanks for the stream. Yeah, thank you for racing. It's been a pleasure. We, I'm sure we'll catch you again here soon. I'm back on tomorrow night to... I may finish Pro Street. I may try to participate in a race. I don't know yet. Um, we'll find out. But either way, have a great night. My name's Soji and I'm out. Catch you on the next one. Later.